Welcome everybody to the stream. We're here for the preliminary final of the Open Teams preliminary final between Victoria and WA. So the, the man himself, Jamie Stevens, just popped in to say hello, just making sure that everything's running all right. Vicks have just been out the back of their team meeting. WA boys are just heading out to have their team meeting. We can see the team list on the on the screen right now. Victoria went down in the final frame to an undefeated SA team 13-11. Uh, the, uh, the, the WA boys won over New South Wales in the exact same way in the final frame. So almost almost had a playoff in, in both finals. But thank you to thanks for the scheduling. We would probably not be starting this match had uh, had that gone ahead we just just held the the pride in sports six red challenge last 10 so we we are running a little bit behind because we wanted to play everyone the, the open the women's and the masters all on the same table very very enjoyable and then the finals are tomorrow Last bit of practice is going ahead before the tables get swept and brushed, should I say, and ironed. WA absolutely pumped. A couple of their boys just won the state doubles, Nathan McMahon and Luke Anglesey. A very entertaining final against the SA boys. So no doubt they're on a high. Very, very enthusiastic team, always making a lot of noise. The Vicks, probably the most experienced team between the two. In fact, there's probably no pro doubts about it. A wealth of experience in these situations. The, the, reigning, the reigning champions back in 2019 looking to, to go back back to winning ways, get into the final against SA and get themselves a win. And WA finished fourth, got the win against New South Wales and are uh, up and about, it's fair to say, and these guys can do some damage. They're, they're strong all the way through. They're not a team of champions. They're a, a really, really solid team. This is going to be a, a very, very, very exciting final.
Appreciate it, Jamo. Thank you very much. Um, more than happy to, to step in just to answer the questions, give a little bit of update of what's going on, tell everyone how not to do it, and obviously have a bit of fun along the way. Waiting for the referee, Trent Reinheimer, to iron the table after Mark's failed attempt at juggling. to throw the score sheet on the screen for me. I'm, I'm luckily enough to be joined by the captain of the South Australian Open team, Mr. Mr. Snores, they call him, the, the famous Pokemon character, Jaden Demeka. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Hey mate, thanks for having me. Uh, oh my lord, it is loud in here. I, I can barely hear anything. It's loud behind <laughs> us, it's loud in front of us. And uh, what a match this will be, mate. This will be incredible. Dan's just going over to fix the camera on table one as it moved a bit during the six red. Uh, Dan's going to just fix that up for us, so apologies that the tables are a little bit out of whack. Going to ask you early, mate, um, as a Queenslander yourself, <laughs> <laughs> Fairly unbiased, and uh, I am myself. What's your predictions for this match, mate? Uh, it's this is this is a tough one to to pick. You you can't go past the experience that Victoria has, but in the situation that Victoria are in at the moment, after coming off a loss, and WA having a really really close win as well. A couple of their boys have just won the, the doubles. They're, they're, they're up and about, and, and Jamo put in commentary, uh, sorry, in the chat just before, that uh, they reckon the Vic, te the Vic team's got too much depth, that there's a lot of character in this WA team, and I think the WA, I think WA win. Yeah, I think it's all going to depend on the start, really. Like Ben's missing his ball over the center side. WA are a very, um, they're a very momentum-like team, where if they can get off to a good start, they're very hard to stop. And um, that's the one thing I've kind of been getting across to my boys is that we can get them early. Mm -hmm. They're very, very, I'm not going to say easy to beat, but it's a lot easier to beat them compared to if it's close or if they're the ones in front. Yep. So I think the first sort of four or five frames are going to be very crucial, especially for Victoria. Because if they can get on top of them early, that's, that can determine the match. Especially it's still only three rounds of eight, best of 24. It's very cutthroat. Yep. Um, it's, not, you know, it's not a race to 17 just yet. So the, the first four or five frames, in my opinion, are going to be extremely crucial. Awesome insight from the captain of the South Australians, who's obviously <laughs> played these two teams multiple times this weekend. Oh, I say weekend, but I mean this week. Yeah, um, you know, 
we've got Benny and Angles, we've got Alex and Mark. Robbo's been, these two, I don't think these two have really opened it. I don't think they've been out there at the same time. Ben's coming off three losses against SA. You'd, you'd think of someone less experienced that would affect someone, but for Ben, he just goes about business as usual. Yeah, Benny just has sort of like, I'm not going to say one game, but he just plays so attacking. He likes to have a go at the balls. and I don't think him winning three against us, him losing three against us, sorry, is really going to affect him at all. Um, I'm saying that. He's on the reds here. and I think Angles has got this pocket covered. And it looks like Benny's still committing. And early on, this is what I mean, Jay, like early on, if he gets these, and the Vic boys are up and about, the WA boys are a bit quiet, but if he misses these and Angles wins, it, Big swing. the WA boys are up and, up and about. And that's, that's why it's so crucial, especially against this team of young guys, young hungry guys, you've got to get off to that good start. 100%, 100%. We've got a couple of... A couple of guesses in here, I reckon. Jeremy Bauer reckons 13-11 WA. Um, I don't think that's bias at all. <laughs> Jamo 14-10, I don't think that's bias at all. Well, you missed the double. Still a lot of work to be done here for Luke. The, um, if you're looking at having a go here, I don't, I don't mind, because if you can clear the two on the right-hand side to get in the right middle, you can use the one on the left middle to drop behind this yellow down to the reds and the yellow just below the black actually goes to the right centre. <laughs> He's quite makeable for Luke and he likes having a go. He's quite attacking. I don't think he likes to sort of hold up a bit. Mm -hmm. He likes to sort of, yeah, you know, attack the balls. Uh, Robbo's doing his business. I think Robbo's been... I don't know how much you've seen of Robbo this tournament. He's been Phenomenal. arguably the best he's ever been in a tournament in Australia. It's actually been clinical. Like He's had like nine or ten master breaks. He shot like mid 80 percent. He's just been unstoppable. Like, it's, it's actually crazy. He won the plate, I think. Um, did he win the plate? No, he, he did win the plate. Uh, it's it's been it's been a crazy tournament for Robbo. It's and it's and to think that someone who's shot over 80 percent, who's pretty much we, we don't I, I'm not I'm not sure of any records of what the best percentages stats wise. In a national yeah, it would have, to be, have to be very close to being one of the best. Like, I think I haven't been around a long time, but since I've been playing um, at national level, I haven't seen anyone shoot higher than what he shot this tournament. I don't think, um, and that's that's with winning the plate as well. So you know, he's leading from the front. He's a captain of the Victorian team. He's opening. He's doing everything a, you know a captain should do. And, uh, Oh, you know, can he get off to a good start? And I think he's looking good here, but all the yellows are on for Alex. So, I mean, that's, a, that's a good shot because it's opened up the reds. Mm -hmm. Now, if Alex leaves him on a red here, uh, Robbo's probably going game. He's probably left the he's probably left the red a little bit too far away from the pocket from where he like. He probably would like it maybe about four inches closer and four inches higher off the right. Uh, Des, thank you for the prediction. 13-9 Victoria. Des from uh, from New Zealand. I don't mind that shot there from Angles. It's, it's kind of in. just baiting Benny. It's saying, have a go. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you've got a tough red. The black's tricky. I don't think the black pass is bottom left. It's kind of saying, you know, you do something, Benny. I, you know, I'm not going to commit. It's your turn. Yep. Um, and I think that I think Angles is very. He's, he's like that. But that's that's his choice. That's that's how he. Yeah, well, that actually surprised plays. me because what I've seen of Angles, he's kind of very. He's been playing very attacking. Right? He likes to go for it. Um, him and Nathan McMahon just won the doubles um, against Dave Ewing and Sabin Naka, and they kind of just they played extremely attacking. They went for a lot of things, and um, so that does surprise me a bit. But that's that's the difference in teams, Paul, isn't it? You know, like you play the team shot, you really you you, you see your better players tend to sort of pull up a bit. Yep. Don't tend to sort of go for everything. Do you, do you believe that you rate yourself against the player you're playing against? Like, you you go up against someone like Ben and you think he's probably a better potter than me. I need to slow him down, and you go to a bit I of think, a negative I think you, you know, when you sort of you're, you're young and you're growing up, you get sold by a lot of the experienced guys around you, so you never play the player. But I think as you get older and you get better and you get more experience, you tend to play the player a bit more. Mm -hmm. um, and Robbo, I know for a fact, does that. I've had plenty of chats with Robbo about how he does play the player. Yeah, if he's playing someone like myself who likes to play a lot more aggressive compared to someone like himself, 
he'll maybe bait me a bit more and say, all right, I'll leave you this, but if you miss it, you lose. <laughs> but if he's playing someone like a Justin um, or a Scary that tends to sort of not go for as, anywhere near as much as myself, then he'll change his game style. Um, so I think, yeah, definitely in team's ball, like, Luke knows that Benny's going to go for most things. And he's happy just to put a yellow over the hole and say, look, if you get them, well done. And if you don't, then, you know, like, I'm here waiting to clean up the mess. Are we getting a lot of predictions on chat for Victoria to win here? That looks a bit straight there from Robo. That doesn't look like... Benny's, uh, Benny's caught yellow here, which has just come off the side rail and flicked the red over to the, to the corner that... Um, is occupied by angles. It's ben, Benny's played a couple of weird shots today. He, he played quite a bit of a questionable shot in a frame against Jack Hunter. That's angles, a nice shot there for Angles. Has, has now played a little bit more heartache for, for so what Benny. What table are these guys on? Robbo's on table one. Now, table two, which is the table left of screen, it actually right. moves in a bit. It rolls in to the, the centre of the table. I think there's a bit of a bow on the slate. Not sure how table one on the right-hand side goes. If this was table two, this is almost impossible to pop down the rail. Um, he's missed it thin anyway. Yeah. That was that was out on any table. And, yeah. Yeah, that's a big miss there from Robbo. And Alex, young Alex Kingsbury, like, he's, you know, he's, I think he's made two or three WA teams now. He's, I don't think he usually opens for them. So I think they've switched it up a bit. Well, he's, what a chance the, he has here. Being the away team, yeah, probably, as well. yeah, probably yeah. slots differently into the lineup. What a chance young Alex has here. And Angles looks good. Uh, T. Guzman, thank you for tuning in from Texas. 3M in Texas, you reckon? It's truth. Well, thanks for, thanks for joining the stream. Appreciate you saying hello. Again, guys, if you, if you want to donate to the stream and to, to Dan Lynch and the setup here, um, the, the link is in the description of the stream, so we, we hope, hope if you feel the, the generosity in your souls to donate some of your hard earned, we really appreciate it. So Alex has instantly gotten on his hard ball at the top. I think the one in the left middle drops in nicely. Um, Could even take that last. Yeah, it can take a last if you can get on that near that side rail. Um, this is, this is probably the key shot, get up nicely, probably come in between the yellows. Just, you know, you get, give yourself a choice of two or three. Oh, he's missed the pot. That's just pressure. That's the pressure of opening, the pressure of playing in a team, the pressure of playing Robbo. That's just pure pressure there. Uh, Sissini, yes, they lost in the semi, but they finished in the top two. So the, the top two playoff for a spot in the final and the loser play the winner of the other semi-final between third and fourth place. That looks good. So it's going to be one nil to Victoria. Stan, thank you very much again. Always a good donator to the stream. Ten dollar donation saying go Vix. And you've seen them just get their first frame. So thanks for the donation mate. And don't ask me to say his last name. No Rusty or Dell of this tournament. Why is Jake McCartney not playing for the Vix? Jake, uh, Jake was overseas, Jake, so he couldn't yeah, try. He, he, Jake's been playing a lot of them um, in the UK in the Ultimate Pool Series and you know, flying the flag for Australia along with Paul Clack now in the Ultimate Pool Series, which is awesome. You know, could not be happy for the two there. and Yeah, that's why he hasn't played this tournament. He's still playing. In the, he played in the singles and the plate and the doubles. and Yeah, he just hasn't played in the team. For the, he wasn't in Victoria for the titles. Uh, Rusty and Della, I think I'm not quite sure about Rusty. I know Della's sort of taken a bit of time, a bit of downtime, you know, just spending time with his family and all that, which we all respect. And mm -hmm. you know, that's the type of person that James Della is. And... Uh, we've got we've got Michael Scary breaking against Clint Kapler. Oh, beautiful break! I think he's got one of the most consistent breaks in the country. I wouldn't say the best, but I think when it comes to pure consistency on his break, it's so he just times the break so nicely. He would have liked a little bit of a better result with the uh, top right corner because reds are reds are lovely apart from where the yellows have ended up. There's, yeah, there's clusters of yellows everywhere. If he's on this yellow down the <laughs> rail, he might just run it over. Do, does this does the plant of the yellows on the left side near the centre? Do, do they do they it go? Looks, the I'm looking at the table. Look, it does look on. 
Um, you can even use the two balls top right to sort of swing around and go into them if need be. But it wouldn't surprise me if he just puts this over the hole here and, and just says, you've got a tough red, the red near the black's tricky, like, I'm going to put you under the pump. Oh, that's exactly what he's done. So, you know, he's, he's, he's playing Click Kepler. You know, Click love, once again, another young young player that loves to attack the balls. Very adrenaline-like adrenaline -like player. Yep. Oh, he, he's he's going to have a tough time clearing these. So, you might have to look at maybe covering the bottom left with one of these reds here. And Thank you, Gary. Appreciate the kind words. Uh, quarter to ten in the morning in Scotland. And apparently the commentary's first pass, so we appreciate that. Uh, Thomas Betson has uh, dropped a rumour that Alex Kim Kingsbury once wrestled a bear. It wouldn't surprise me, he's a big boy. <laughs> I, I, reckon, I reckon Luke Foster ate it after he wrestled yeah, Luke, I think Luke is the bear, to be honest. They're just, a, they're just a team full of big units, aren't they? They are, they're very solid they're boys. Massive. And they're very, they're very nice. They're very, yeah, they love to go up and about, aren't they? Uh, very, very lovely group of guys. Benny's just, I can see Benny just going to chip this red out here. Uh, possibly I think one thing you'll yellow. see Benny do is probably play the red off two rails, get it to the blue spot, and stun into the top yellow to get the black out. Correct. And that way, the angle says oh, two dead yellows, makes yep. it very tricky, yep. and just says that, look, if you miss, you give me another shot, I'm going to run out. Ex exactly. I think it's really out. important to get both out here, but if you don't, it allows Luke to potentially deliberate foul. Yep. And that's exactly Just what doesn't want done. the black to go in. Nearly put the yellow, nearly put the red. He's nearly put every ball on the table. He and he got a really what a good shot that is. And, and now I think my opinion Angles probably has no another choice but to smother here and just buy himself some time. Mm -hmm. It's not the ideal shot we like to play because it takes away control. You know, you can't do much with your balls, but mm -hmm. there's not really much else he can do here. Which he's choosing to do. He's played that well. The way Benny plays, it wouldn't surprise me if he knocks in the top left red and then plays the plant. I would be surprised if he tries to double the one on the right. Yeah, he can double. A bit, bit less control that way, I think. Um, but I, I, I think probably what Benny would, I think, would should do is probably just lay up the top red. Yep. Um, just say, what's your plan here, Luke? Like, what are you going to do? That's what he's done. That looks like it's going to go in. Yeah. Well, he can... He can Fine, cut this over the centre bag and leave him on a shot over the centre bag and run the white into this top corner to, to drop this red in. Can do. It's very hard to control a lot of things there. It's, it's extremely risky. But if it falls short, you leave yourself a, a long red into the top right corner as well. <coughs> and I, I, I think that it might... Unless he's looking at playing the red down here and, and getting the, the rail and the yellow at the same time, Jake, thank you very much for the $20 donation. We really appreciate it. All this goes towards Dan's equipment, making sure that we're giving you the best quality, quality stream we can. So right, thank you again. The stuff that Dan Lynch does for Australia. I'm sitting here and there's, four, there's three screens, a laptop, there's headphones everywhere, there's two keyboards, there's two mouses. It's, it's <laughs> unreal. It's the best streaming. It's the best, I think, streaming service we've had in Australia. And you know, he's streaming six tables in two different rooms this tournament. It's actually unreal. Um, I don't know how he keeps up with it all at once. It's, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> uh, Gary, no, there's no skill shots in World Rules. It is completely um, a, f a foul every time, two visits. The big red Ian Hinton. He's in the room somewhere. He's donating, donating $5 saying he loves Michael Cacciola. <laughs> I think we all do. Thank you again, Ian. Really appreciate the Good donation. Stuff, big red. Love your work. First, love Ian's first Nationals this year? First it is, as a senior. yeah. He's been trying for a few years to make a team and he's always missed out by one or two frames and he finally uh, finally got a result this year and he's done quite well. He shot 50% in his first Nationals and mm -hmm. been one of the best team men I've ever gone away with. And you know, He's been a really real ple like pleasure to captain and he's you know, a good mate of mine and hopefully we continue to see him in the red shirts. So. Uh, sorry, sorry, Paul Banker. Thank you for dropping in and saying hello. Appreciate you saying hello. Um, Ian, Ian had a good result at the start of the year, making the final of Geelong against uh, Victoria's own Steve Jamison. Yeah, 
Steve on this occasion decided to play his own ball, coloured balls all the way through rather than trying to change colours oh, mid-face. Nice, oh, oh, that's a bit stiff. Angles has come up unlucky yeah. there. It's, it, yeah, you can't be harsh there and say you should watch out for that. But, yeah, that is, that is a bit stiff. So I'm not sure if Clint has two. I know Mika snooked himself. I hear the black and the red there, but he may not have two here. Ben will take all of four seconds to knock these in. Yeah, these will be going instantly. Got to watch the yellow. Just got to watch maybe. the yellow into the left. left Might corner. be a bit thinner than that. Yeah, he's dragged it in nicely. Two 0 to the Vix. Two 0 to the Vix with uh, Mandar Arguably. to break against Jamie. Arguably, you can say a couple of strawberries there to get him started. A nice little set left for the Vicks. Yeah. Clint, I don't think, has two. He's laid up. Michael... Are these, oh, I don't think I remember at the start the clusters of yellows that were on this at the start of this frame. We had a couple in the top right corner, a little cluster to the left, just on the top side of the left uh, centre bag, a yellow on the rail on the right side, and, and a ball sort of in the open on the left side. And yet we were saying that yellows, are, reds, the reds were really good. Yellows were a little bit tougher, but. I if we break open that cluster, then we should be looking good. So yeah. the fact that black has been covered here, something I think must have gone black, wrong. If that black doesn't go, I think Nick's in trouble. Yeah. Um, and if he nudges it here, that's it. a beautiful shot. That's not a bad shot. Even though the yellow has gone dead, Glenn has a couple of really tricky balls. And I think if I'm Clinton here, I'm almost looking to try and yeah, either run this over the hole or even look to just put the... I'd look to put the red near the blue spot and just sit it on that yellow. Yep. Just absolutely tie Mick up and say, look, you've got no access to that yellow. I'm going to leave the white down here into this red over the pocket and just say, look, you can't do anything. I'm going to buy myself some time. Because Clint's not running out. He's got a really, he's got two really tricky balls up there. It's just, he needs to buy himself some time. Is he, is he playing the red into the black and running the black over the left side of the table? Yeah, it's not the worst idea. Very, yeah. I don't, I don't know if I like this, but I, don't, I think Mick will just get them out. These are quite tricky to get out as well, because you can't just hit them dead straight, because you've got a red over the bottom left. Are you taking one of the balls in the top corner, just so they both go? I think the plant's still on. You might be able to double kiss it, or either way, you know, you can pretty much land anywhere on the table and still be able to cut that top yellow in. So I don't think it's a big deal. It would, yeah, I was going to say, it wouldn't surprise me if he kicks this off the bottom rail, because then he might get a result and push one of the reds up there. Mm -hmm. Uh, the only problem you've got to be careful of is you don't know exactly where the yellow is going. And I was in control on table two. That's a nice, nicely controlled shot there. The only thing it does is it, is it does give Clint the chance to run rack. And it has kind of made mixed ball very tricky here in the bottom, at the bottom of the table because it doesn't go bottom left. And there's not entirely a... There's not a ton of room there near the black to land on that yellow. Did Manda hit the red there first? Yeah, that one looked, that one looked close. Umpire hasn't caught a foul. Jamie, Jamie's not Jamie's not concerned at all, so I reckon that he thought it was a legal yeah, shot. Yeah, if that was a foul, Jamie would be jumping up and down. Mm. I wonder if Clint will play the double here on the, the red on the right rail. Is he, is he is he potting this and trying to hold up against the red near the centre? I, I, I don't know where this, this where, the, where else the light can go. Oh, that's a great shot. What a shot that is. He, he, this is tricky now. Yeah. He has to probably drop this in, which makes it even more difficult. Uh, but if he gets it, he's going to have an angle on the yellow to come back up. Yeah, it needs to be on the right side of the table for uh, for that black, considering the uh, the red's blocking on the bottom right side. Clint's, Clint's decided now's the time. I, I don't know. 
I, I'm not sure. He's looking at the bottom red. Now that one's missed. So, is, 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 golden opportunity here for Jamie. Is, is, Clint, is Clint a chance of just getting these reds potable and leaving Mick no shot? There's an argument to play it. Oh, it goes in the middle. Oh, what a shot. That's a beautiful shot. Now, well, you've got an inner or over in the bottom right. And if it goes in, he wins. And if it, if it, it needs to get it right over the hole, and I feel, I feel like Mick is too good of a player that if he doesn't think this over the hole, he's probably not getting back to the table. Mm -hmm. Maybe run a tad too far there for Jamie. I think he might still be able to chop this red in bottom right and extract it on the side rail. How loud is it around us, yes. Jay? This is very loud. I think Jamie's playing safe here. I think he's just going to tuck behind the red. Probably, yeah, I think that's the way Jamie plays. I guarantee you if that was, that was Benny, Jake, even Scary Robbo, they're probably having a go there. But it's just the way Jamie plays. He likes to sort of you know, play the percentages and he likes to pull up a bit. Mm -hmm. Probably, in my opinion, probably doesn't back himself as much as he should. I think he is extremely underrated with his aggression. I think, that he, I think that he attacks the balls just as good as anyone else in the country. Um, and it's just a mindset thing now for Jamie. He needs to probably back himself a little bit more. Nice shot there from Nick. Nick Anywhere a, a in lot between. Of, the... A lot of deep right here. Yeah, you should have cued this nicely. You don't want to overhit this. You want to you avoid the back. If you overhit this, you go towards the middle. You've got to cue this nicely and really get into it. You know, ideally just miss the black and come down. Probably doesn't need to go too deep. Probably just a little bit more right hand side. Matty Harris is from the centre. Oh, the, he's caught the knuckle. That's pretty lucky. Matty that's Harris with a $50 donation. Thank you very much, mate. Oh, Matty. Really appreciate you supporting the stream here. This is tricky. He might in, maybe into the black here. No, he's missed oh. it. Yeah. Place is going bananas. Yeah, there's a lot of ACT supporters around us supporting the women's. Lindell Vine in the women's plate final, 5 4 up. Against Bella Di Giorgio. Against Bella, correct. And I think they play in the, same, in the singles final tomorrow, too. Is that correct? I so, yes. I believe going to be home. Jamie will. Jamie should get these. Smiley, Smiley, <coughs> Smiley says that Jamie, once Jamie gets going, he's, he can hang with the best of them. Yeah, I do agree, Smiley. I think, that, how loud is this? This is crazy. I think the ACT think, um, supporters on the grandstand behind us yeah. are using that to all advantage. No, I do agree, Smiley. I just wish Jamie would play a bit more aggressive more often. Um, I think sometimes he just pulls up when he doesn't need to. And it's quite funny because if you listen to the way he commentates, he's very adamant about how people should have a go more. And then when he gets out there, he doesn't do it. Clint gets WA on the board. So we're at 2 1. We almost need ACT to stop winning so we can hear what's going on. Yeah, this is nuts. This is good. We want more of it. So loud, Jason. speak up. Smiley, we're trying, mate. We're trying. Dan Lynch is struggling. I don't think there's enough decibels in the chart. These guys are right behind us. This is crazy. We, we might have to go sit with Mark McAleer on the other side of the room. Now, this little bald man on screen here, in my opinion, is having one of the best debut nationals of all time. Eighth in the stats. Dale Kent, he's on about high sixties in the stats. He made the quarters or something of the singles. One of the best blokes out there, and he's performing in finals. He didn't miss a ball against us. He, he had a good, he had a, uh, a good match in the semi and the semi-final as well against you guys. Made a really good out. Not the one. I don't. I feel like Solid has two. I'm not 100% sure. Um, this isn't entirely easy for Solid, I think. I feel like he's slightly wrong side of that red near the black. Yeah, well, look, I agree. It, it, it's almost to the point where you probably want to come off the side rail and 
and land below the black spot and take it into the... Uh, look at Dale's break, mate. This is one of the best breaks out there. Oh, he just, he's, for such a little man, he smashes the balls. Yeah, not a bad shot there from Jamie. A little bit of check just to stop the white from travelling This looks far. a bit thin. Maybe same hole. Commentary is uh, Jay Windross, and I'm joined by Jaden Demeka, captain of the South Australian men's team. Well done there from Solid, held nicely. Barry Manilow. Uh, look, I'd like to say I've got the lungs oh, of Barry Manilow. Manilow. I'd like to say that I've had the rap sheet. But, oh, oh man, my man. lord. Have you ever seen Jamie Stevens miss a black like that in your life? Smiley, we, we give the man a rap. We give the man a rap. What has happened there? And he Dead is straight. Yes, it, it, it is. What's happened there? I, 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 I don't know. I, I don't know what happened. This could really hurt Victoria. This will be two all from 2-0 up. And now this is what I love about team pool, right, Jay, is all the pressure now reverts to Dale. Jamie's missed an unmissable black, a 100 out of 100 in practice. All the pressure reverts to, da uh, to Dale. He needs to hold his nerve, play a solid frame here, and he can't let this go, because that's when WA then get on a run. Wow. Wow. But sometimes, sometimes in pool, in team sports, there's a turning point. And there was a good chance that you said, Victoria, if they get a jump on WA, that can be the key to Victoria winning. Absolutely. That's changed the scoreline from 3-1 to 2-0. And, and what it does is it, it just kills, it kills Victoria. Not only does it just boost WA's confidence, because they just got the world's largest strawberry, but it just kills Victoria. They're thinking we're 3-1 up. Jamie's made a nice solid clearance here. And instead he misses an unmissable black and it's 2-0. Uh, up, up next, we have Luke Foster breaking against Josh Boyle. Dale needs some angle to get into this red and black. Yeah, he might be able to drop this in the left centre here and use the middle of the three yellows to come underneath. Doesn't need to hit it that hard because he'll probably push it over the middle. Yep. Big loose, Lukey Foster. The yes, biggest hey. unit in the room. Yes. Australian singles finalist. Correct. And what a break. He really gives that a whack. He's got balls off the break. Look at the reds. Hey, if you're that Look big and you don't have a break that big, there's something wrong. These yellows are looking plum for him here. Oh, camera's shaking. The boys are going mental. We need, we, need the, we need the WA boys to settle down a bit because the camera's moving all over the place. You watch Dale Cat play. You really watch him play, right? When he hits the white, he's still, but the minute he hits it, he's a lot of body he's movement. He's off. And yeah. it doesn't affect the way he plays, it's just quite entertaining to watch. He, just, he plays a shot, as you see, so jump to his left. It, it, uh, not that the camera's going to pick this up, but there's a handful of Victorian guys sitting down, whereas the WA boys are all stood up. If you look at the mannerisms of the two teams right now, Victoria, you can just tell her under the pump. It's two all, Dale's at the table. And if you just look at the two teams... And he's opened up the black. He just needs to land on a ball. Bad. He might be on the bottom one here. He is. He is definitely on the bottom one. There's a picture of the room. He needs us to catch the red. He just didn't hit hard enough. Can't screw into it now. Do you screw it or do you take it thin off the wall? 
I'd probably screw into it and just try and hit a half ball. Oh, it goes! He's going across the table. Oh, well, what are we doing? This is the, this is the hard if thing this about goes, the stream. I think he's made it straight. Watching the, watching the game on camera just like you guys are. Oh, great shot. Kiss. Oh. Dale Kent. Lukey Foster may be sort of a bit high on that yellow, may have to top underneath the red, which makes the yellow extremely missable. No, he's playing probably a little stun run through there. He's not aiming too high on the white. Yeah, that's such a hard shot, especially when the balls are so close together. Dale is, he's probably, probably a foot short of where he wanted to be. I reckon he takes a double on here. I reckon he, I reckon he doubles the black here. Jaden's just docking off to support Lyndall Vine in the, uh, in the singles final. Dale's got it. What a brilliant out by Dale. That's twice he's done that now. Massive out. Another master. Another master break from Dale. He is having an absolute bananas. Nationals, crazy nationals. And that's that's the frame they needed after Jamie's uncharacteristic. The big frame they needed, the big momentum, the, the big the big G up that they needed after that black that Jamie missed. A big massive out like that. Luke's a, I think Luke might be on this yellow. We have Robbo on the break against Cedric. Rob Dog number two makes the ball off the break. Little cluster of reds in the center of the table near the black. Black will pass down to the bottom left corner. Reds, reds are definitely the option here. They could possibly play the, the red combination into the bottom left corner and nudge the black open a little bit more. ACT women are up 4 2. As you can probably tell, every time you can't hear us talk. Rob, Rob decided to go yellows. Oh, great shot. Great shot by Josh. Play this yellow, the, the top of the yellows on the left side of the table, the top right corner. Probably screw back off the side rail to get to the yellow next to the black. Because once he gets that yellow out, he, it's only problem ball.
Dan, we need a boost. We need a boost. This is, this is getting out of control. Josh, Josh has left himself a, a little bit of a cut on the on the red. Natural angle for the black, so definitely going to leave himself on a shot in the black. It looks like it's going to be somewhere near the balk, though. So it's going to be a long black, but a shot nonetheless. Very surprised Rob took that long yellow in the top right, but didn't didn't screw back to get this yellow that's next to the black in the center. I would have thought that might have been the option, but not being able to see the angle properly here. It's probably why he's gone against that option. Rob's landed lovely. Lovely on this, nice and straight. Can run through a couple of feet to get this yellow. Ooh, Josh has missed that by a bit. And has perfect angle on this one in the centre to land low. Rob doesn't even need to be straight on this yellow. It, it, it must, it must go. Yeah. Angles is going to clean up from uh, a Josh Boy on this black to level the score up again. Yeah. Rob's, Rob's played a really, really, really nice out here. A nice little easy shot, black in the centre to give him back the lead and another master break. Head out by Rob Bowen. We'll have Ben Foster breaking against Sean Partridge on table two. And we'll have Mandar breaking against Mark Robertson. The, uh, the girls, ACT girls, uh, five two up on this up right now. Trying to get a score update on the women's final of the plate. Currently 6-5 to Bella. And the race to seven. Mandal's come up dry. Ben, ben Foster's dished up a hot rack here. Mark's stretching for his first red. Just dribbles behind that yellow nicely. Set himself a nice little plant for this red in the top right, right corner. And you would say that the, the red to the left of these two is his only problem ball, which is now no longer. He's probably gone through this a little bit too far. I would have liked a little, bit of, a little better angle on, on this red. I'm not sure I'd be able to pick the gap 
might be looking. You, can't, you, you won't be able to check this up on these rails. I don't know whether he tries to get the, the gap between the two yellows. Oh, good shot. Good shot. Nice clean pot there from Robbo. Drifted down nicely on this red down the bottom right corner. Perfect side just to drift back down towards the centre pocket. Needs us to run. He's left himself in the top left corner. Stun across for the one in the centre. Just to run through this red down towards the yellow in the bottom right corner for the black into the centre. Or he could even screw back to the left rail and put the black in the same centre pocket. It's like he's looking to just to run through down off the bottom rail. Kiss off the yellow. Doesn't want happy queuing. He's himself a little bit Chinese here. I would have liked a little bit of queuing, but... Come on, Come on, Quite confident Robbo pots this. Great captain's frame. Great captain's frame. To start off the second round. So Vic's up 5-3. to three. I think we might be waiting a little while for this first round to finish off. With this set on table two. Just going to force Ben to open these balls out, but to what advantage? I, I don't. I'm not sure. It's, it's just making the possibility for for Ben to win the frame even easier. On table one, we've got Ben breaking against Clint Kepler. Sean's taken this red out of play, sending the white down the end of the table. It's a great shot by Sean. Then he's come up dry. Ben, ben hasn't potted a ball here. Why is he still at the table? Why is Ben still at the table? Ben hasn't potted a ball here. I'm, I, I'm not sure what's happening. I, I, I don't know what's happening here. I, I, I don't know if that's a foul or... Considering Ben's stayed at the table, he's only got... I think he's got 10 seconds to leave the playing area. I'm, 
<laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's happened here. Ben's, Ben's just had things happen to him all week. <laughs> I just don't know what's happening. Ben's had a mare there. Sean's tried to plant in the top right corner, hasn't come off and now pretty much killed. Almost got the 7-10 split on the top rail. So, it wasn't a foul. Uh, it's alright, it's all right. <laughs> The uh, sportsmanship. Ben's running off here. Well, I was going to say sports, sportsmanship obviously overshone the situation, but maybe, maybe that's a bit of justice in the situation there. I, I don't know. The women's the women's plate final between Isabella Di Giorgio and Lyndall Vine is now on the hill six all. Sean's got pocket control in the top right corner here with a good shot. And I'm not, I'm not sure whether Ben would want to drop his yellow in or not because I think almost opens up Sean to possibly go and game. Yes! Jaden's off watching the uh, women's plate final. Reese Cotton's joining me again. Welcome back, Reese. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. tricky over here with this ACT crowd. Yeah. It's, uh, the atmosphere, one could say, is quite loud. Yeah, <laughs> very. Oh, from Ben, from most parts of the room as well. But, yeah. But well, the ACT's probably got the biggest cheer squad at the moment. <laughs> Absolutely, they've taken over the grandstand. They've got, they've got their open team, they've got their, their masters team, they've got their, their cup team, they've got their other cup team, they've got the rowing team, they've got the bowling team. <laughs> they've got everyone here. Yeah. Good intensity in this match, it's, it's looking like a final. The, Conditions of play, some players really fire and some uncharacteristic uh, misses here and there as well. I'm just going to safety up this black here, I think. Yes, well controlled. Mm. What do you think it on the yellows? I feel like Sean can get under this black. <laughs> Obviously, he won't be able to with this first visit. But I feel like he can get underneath it. Yeah, 
it's a bit tricky. No matter what he does, he's probably just going to get another yellow pushed in there. Not in there deep, but every every visit he saw from Gibbs at the moment is probably going to cost him a dead ball. This one, he's going to play safe, and he's left him wide on. Uh, actually, I say that, and I'm actually sat right behind the line, and it's not. Yeah, there's pretty the sure it's a, I'm pretty sure it's a title. Yeah. I don't think you can catch that red. No, I definitely can't. Not that he'd play at it anyway, I yeah, wouldn't have thought. Yeah, it's, it's a little dicey. It's, it potentially could land nice if we can just control the pace. Um, Correct, Toby, they do. Sorry. For WA, those reds. Very tricky to negotiate. Um, <clears throat> Ben's, Ben's on reds, and Michael were talking about in the last team's match. Ben, Ben's not one to give up the table easily. Uh, I think he backs his ability and his play to to take these on. Yeah. yeah, he's one of those players. I feel like I've seen him cover more pockets this week, this week than than ordinarily Benny would do. Um, so, <laughs> I was thinking earlier, it kind of feels like it's one of those things where probably like players like Benny and Robbo and stuff. A sort of unlocked, like a lot of players in this team's kind of environment, if they take on the balls at a low percentage out sort of thing, it can can be taken badly by the team sort of thing. But, um, but being the calibre of players that they are, they probably get to free up a little. It's hard to tell them they're wrong because they've proven they're right time and time over. Sort of thing. Yep. Ben hasn't hit a rail there, but he's on reds anyway, so it doesn't matter. When I say Ben, I mean... Well, yeah, he's sorry, two Ben's playing at the moment. I think I might have got confused there. When I say Ben, I mean Ben Foster, not, not Ben Moonen. You look like a bit of peace in the room. <laughs> Sean's, Sean's just sending traffic. Yeah, yeah just, bottom just trying to here. create that error. Realistically, he's not going to be the first to have a, had an attempt at this. I don't, I don't think he'll be. He'll be second to have a go at the out. I think so. He's just trying to trying to force that error. At this stage. I do reckon a yellow on the on the bottom rail. Yeah, I do agree. I, I, do, um, I do reckon he can get a yellow below that black. Realistically. If Sean pots the red over the pocket, it like fouls pots the red over the pocket. If he's got enough coverage on the on the other red, he can possibly get away with it. I, I, not really a situation you want to be in, but it's, I, 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 don't, I don't think I don't think he's going to want to pot the red that's over the pocket. I think he just wants to get the yellow underneath there to just to begin with. I think he, as I said, like I think he can get a yellow underneath the black just yeah, to start true. wedging it in there. Once he's got. That was a good shot for Ben. I think sure. that's, it has limited the options even more, although it has given a slight opportunity, it's not <laughs> it's not the sort of opportunity you really want. Not not with one visit. Nah. Not with one visit. You you still want to be having two shots here. It does, does sort of push the frame along a little bit. It's one of them things those that those frames can drag out for a long time and mm -hmm. sometimes that is just giving your opponent more opportunities sure. than they Oh dear. Really? oh dear, Sean has hit that way too hard. 
If Ben can catch oh. the edge of this bottom red, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's frame over. Because he'll be able to come back high up the table, pop the yellow and get the white underneath the black to go all three in the same pocket. There is still something that needs to be done with the black. That's, that's definitely not worst case for Ben, I wouldn't say. Um, yeah, the black being contained as it was, but coming from such a controlling position, could have... Clint's gone, Clint's gone Clint's back. Clint's a good shot to nothing on the other table. Left Ben off his probably only potable, well, easy potable ball. I don't like this, it don't, you, like you don't really have a choice, but <laughs> you're just forced to open up the black there, really. He, he's he's finally got a safety there, he's got yeah. a I don't know how come. many times he hit that white ball, though. Yeah, I want to keep a close eye on that. I probably wasn't looking as close as I'd like to, but I can guarantee you in England he would not get away with it. Yeah. Great shot by Ben. Very simple up and down for Clint to get out of this. Come on, Ness. Come on, Ness. Come on, Ness. These you you practice a lot of the time. You just got to get the centre spot on the top row. Realistically, for, for Sean Partridge, is probably the best opportunity you could have hoped for. <laughs> like, a little bit of angle. To come back to this table, like, as much as he, he hasn't got the angle to get him the next up yellow straight away. But realistically, this out is only one good positional shot, I think. I think, I think the two yellows on the right are okay. I think the, I think the first one does pass fine. Might need a bit of helping side, but... From the position he's in, this is, this is a relatively open ball now. Especially if he can control this well, he might end up with that the second yellow leaning nice to the centre to be able to stun down off it. And I think he, I actually think he just runs a yellow over the bag here on the right side yeah. and keeps the white dead. No. See, for me, for me, I'm I'm running that yellow over the bag and sneaking, sneaking him on. On the on the reds on the other side, definitely wasn't a bad option. I, I really agree. Um, one of those things. If it either way you go, if it works, you look like a genius. If it doesn't work, you people will call it wrong. Uh, but yeah, the yellow has gone slightly higher that second ball that I was talking about. Not exactly up in his cause, but in a perfect world, realistically, that bottom yellow is your last ball anyway. So. Doesn't make a hell of a lot of difference to the out. You'd like to tie it up earlier, but... But if you can control the out nicely... Great shot by Ben. The way to go. He can, he can kick off this top rail and get the red out. He's just got to hope for a result. Black's nice in the open. He's just got to hope for a result. Jaden Dominica back, guys. So Thanks for joining me, Reese. Oh, sat back out. Thanks for having me. While he's away. <laughs> just getting you off. Ben's played a really, 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 really good shot. Probably one roll too far for what he would like. He can... Benny with a black in his bottom left corner. To put the Vicks 6 3 in front, Sean has, has been an absolute battle in this on, table on the left. Alrighty, what did I miss mate? What did I miss? Um, Any the, drama? No, not, not really. There's, there's just been a bit of a, a chess game going on on, this ta on the table here on the on the left. Sean's on the yellows or is he on the reds? He's on the yellows. He wanted to be low on the inside of this one on the outside. It's ben, ben Foster's broken and basically hot racked himself and got about four balls out and we had a big cluster in the centre of the, center of the pack. Has he got one shot or two shots? I, I'm pretty sure he's only got the one. 
I'm not 100 percent sure. Yeah, you may. This is very tricky. The only option really is to stop the white behind the black, but then it's an easy side rail, one rail kick anyway. Definitely That's a good visit. shot. It's a very good shot there because if you left him the high side of the black, it's an easy one rail kick. Yep. Um, what a break it's, from it's Angus. My, it's my understanding from what I've been told from players who have played in England that any sort of push shot like that in Australia we, we tend to let that go but in England they won't let you get away with a shot like that driving the cue through two balls <coughs> while, while you can't visibly see the double hit it is obviously a double hit which is why they'll call a foul Nick Scary with a golden opportunity here to take out these reds just it, just, the tricky part is clearing those top two. The, the, the further you come down the table, the easier they get. Oh, that's a big miss from Mick. He's just tried to cheat that a little bit, I think, just to get across. Sean Partridge, I think he's basically forced to probably take this yellow one now, I think. Uh, no, Cecilia, a, a push he's shot. Going off. A, a, a push shot is uh, basically when you, you push the white ball through the, the path of the of where the white ball uh, basically you push the white ball through the the path of your cue. Um, Got nothing to do whether the ball's touching or not. Nice shot there from Benny. Very nice shot there. Toby Toby Selsky says, uh, "Hey, Jados." Hey, Toby, how are you, mate? Good to hear from you, mate. So it's going to be six four. This not... this frame closes out the first round. This is how long it's been going for. Yeah. We'll have Jamie Stevens breaking against Benny Foster going ballistic. Alec Kingsbury. I haven't seen Benny react like that for a while. <laughs> uh, I, I know that to Singy, and that's what I'm trying to explain is. The, the push shot, while it's allowed in in pool, in world rules, the double hit is obviously not allowed. In in the UK, they will call they will call it a double hit because it is obviously by physics not possible to not double hit when playing a push shot. That's correct, and that's, that's the way that we play that rule but in the UK. Yeah, it's, it's weird how you say that um, they don't play it in the UK, Jay, but when you go to world titles, they allow it to be played. Yeah. It's a bit of a thin line there, isn't it? Like, it's a grey area. I think this is where the new, the new international rules that are slowly being transitioned into our sport <laughs> are really just going to help finalise that rule. Yep, and let's say Ready. Trying to get the attention of the referee who likes to stand in the exact same spot every time, in every frame. That we've told him multiple times not to stand. <laughs> I obviously haven't played, well, I've played pool in, in England, not, not at any competition yeah. level. Right. Whether it's allowed or not in world titles, you're telling me that it, it is. It is, yeah. I've been a couple of times and 
Yeah, yeah there, there's some, there are some teams that try to sort of claim that it's a foul. Um, and they're well within their right to do that because obviously different countries have different um, impersonations on whether or not it's legal or illegal or whatever. But at the yep. end of the day, if you call in the final adjudicator, they'll always say it's not a foul if you play a push shot. Yep. Yep. The, no, that's fair. That's fair. I've, I've, been, I've been told by players who have played over there that certain shots, like a push shot or a double hit or however you want to... However you want to say it, Sissingi, I'm, I'm not going to argue on stream about it. I'm, I'm giving you my opinion. You're, you're giving me your opinion. I'm, I'm telling you what I've been what I've been told. And that's where I think the new rules will be good because yep. they're, they're fairly strict on that you can't play push ups. Absolutely. Um, but then it's also like such a grey area, and you see it a lot in snooker as well, where like, how do you know what is and what isn't a push up? Obviously, there is a correct definition on what is and what isn't, but it's very hard to tell with the naked eye on what is and what isn't. Yep. Um, and that's why it will always be a permanent grey area in pool, in Q sports, not just pool. Um, but unfortunately, I don't think there's a way to really clarify it um, like consistently and get it right every time. So yep. there's always going to be mistakes. Yep. Well, you, you're not going to have the one ref refing every single frame in the whole world correct. with the one yeah, interpretation. Exactly. 100%, yeah, 100%. Um, obviously, we all know the same rules and all that, um, but I think the push up, rather than being a rule, is more of a judgment call, and that's where you get your variables and you get your inconsistencies and all that. As, as we move yeah, on Andrew, to the you're front. right. It is guesswork. Yeah, correct. Michael's played a great shot here, opening up this top left corner. And well, I, I think Michael's, uh, uh, Michael's pretty here. He's going to go top left corner, bottom right corner, take the red into the centre for the puck. Yeah, these late guys, I don't think, I don't think Scary will miss these. He'll probably come to the side rail, which he has done. Drag this white ball down. So uh, we've got Jamie Stevens, I believe, on the reds. He missed almost an unmissable black in his last frame. How, you know, will that affect him? Will it not affect him? That could have been played a little bit better there from Mick, I think. Yeah, I think Mick would have liked to have been a bit closer to the black spot there and make this a little bit uh, easier. Yeah, suddenly it turns this red from a certainty to a, you know, probably like a 70-30. Like it can yeah. be missed. I have seen these missed before. He's going to drive through it as well. Yeah, he skewed that very He's nicely. He very nicely. A little bit of hampered queuing, but shouldn't be an issue. These are regulation pots. Mika gets the frame, gets back to the three-frame buffer. See Ian, Ian Hinton over there with sitting there watching the match with Jake McCartney, see if we can get him to stick his hand into his pocket and donate to the stream. Yeah, maybe. I don't know if that'll happen, but... <laughs> we're, we're probably more likely to buy us a drink. But... Yeah, correct. He loves, which, it. Which, loves his drink of which, McCartney, which, which I reckon Dan would, uh, would appreciate. <coughs> yes, Benny! McCartney buying a drink. Captain Jaden, that'd be proud. Yeah, when I told my old, when I told my old man that I got the captaincy spot, he was pretty wrapped. He always knew I was a. Uh, is Alec not captain? Smiley, uh, no, Alec isn't captain. Actually, obviously he was always going to be first choice to be captain, being who he is, being the greatest of all time. But he um, he didn't want it. He didn't want captaincy. He said it's time for the, the next generation to step through, and he's happy to take that step back. Obviously, he still helped out a lot. Um, throughout the tournament, but yeah, he, he wasn't entirely, I'm not going to say not interested, he just believes that there was better options for the future of the sport. Yep. Um, which is good, means a lot, you know, hearing that from him, and you know, hopefully we'll see how we go. Now, I, I don't know if you guys heard, but ACT women have had a commanding win 
over New South Wales 10-2. So hopefully the noise behind us is possibly going to drown out well, over the next five so. minutes. And we might be able to get a little bit of normal indoor voice happening. We might be able to focus a bit more as well. <laughs> Uh, Smiley, it's it's definitely when you've got someone like like Alec on your side who can groom you into being a being a captain. It's it's definitely it's definitely <laughs> definitely something that I know that Jaden. Oh, that's a foul. Jaden fouled. And I believe that is a foul. It might be a foul, Sturker. More, more than likely, maybe. Yeah, no, it definitely is. It might not be. Uh, well, yeah, he's no. asked if it is. Definitely. That's a foul snooker. That is a big mistake from Jamie. I'm definitely jealous that Jaden gets to learn from one of the best <laughs> um, as a leader and as a captain. So, and so far, you'd have to say so, so good. So Benny just going to lay up here. Just keep, just really keep the pressure here on Dale. You know, for anyone that's watched much of the tournament or much of the finals, I don't think I've seen Dale miss a ball in about six days. You know, he just seems to get them. He's very solid, so I think maybe his tactics are probably going to be a little bit, a little bit sort of tested. I don't think that he's probably as tactically strong as Benny, just because of an experience thing. You know, I think a lot of your tactics and a lot of your shot selection will come with experience, and Dale probably doesn't have much of that, just being a debutant. I don't, I don't know. I, I'm backing Dale to go out for me for yeah, some reason. Well, it just, it he's going to take a double me. on here. And then for, for the way he's playing, they're all on. He just doesn't miss. Look at this. He, now he he's going to run this red down the rail. The yellow. The yellow he might even on one of these outside ones and he can swing off two and come back to the blue spot. Money match replay with Reedy. Um, that was a while ago. That was about three years ago when I played Reedy. Um, honestly, I reckon Reedy's running scared. He, uh, I don't he think got, Reedy will play. I've actually um, he, for anyone he that got hasn't absolutely seen. slapped that day. Did, did Reedy? And I don't think he's had a full night's sleep since. <laughs> he talks about it all the time on his money cards of how he got demolished by Jaden Demeka. Uh, but look, I'm, I'm sure Reedy would love another opportunity. Whether or not that would happen or not, I'm not sure. But um, definitely, a, definitely a tantalising match, especially when it's so one-sided. So for anyone that doesn't know, I believe it's almost confirmed, January, I think it's the 14th, I'm not exactly sure, when Alec is playing Shane Felt. Yes, that match pockets. has been confirmed for $5,000. Yep, I'm pocket. actually playing Steve Jamison. Yep, and for the, five thousand dollars. I do believe also they're trying to get another match going as well to We're make it a full card for a weekend. Yeah, correct. We're trying to find a match up for Michael Cacciola. Um, Cacciola, that's if for everyone at home. That's how you say Cacciola. I've said it six different ways, <laughs> and from now on, that's the way I'm going to say it because that's the way his skipper says it's it. A lot of Italians, mate. They just yeah, they're all pronounced differently. Uh, apparently, Jamo told me on stream while I was commentating with him a couple of days ago that. Like his family owns a few delis around Adelaide. Potentially, yeah, look, that wouldn't surprise me at all, to be honest. Um, I don't know. I know Jamo likes a sort of, you know, a bit, a bit of mayo. Bibs here and there, Just yeah. a little bit of mayo. Just a little bit, but <laughs> yeah, I'm not too sure. Correct, Smiley. He's, he's playing Shane Fell, um, possibly on the Friday night, um, with Jaden to play on, on the Saturday and another match on the on, on a Saturday as well. Um, on the main table at Pockets, would be a with with the proposition of return leg Great as well. Great shot from Ben Foster there. Beautiful shot. Has made the red top right a little bit awkward. Can run into it. Can, got a bit of angle here. Can run into a bit of. Pop. I don't know if he wants to. I, I I think leaving that there is probably the option, considering where the black is until he gets an opportunity to do something with the black. I mean, I don't know if it doubles it into the centre. It only goes for a long pocket. 
and they screw back a touch back to where the wide is now. Play it down the rail. Yeah. This is on. I think this is on down the rail with a bit of right hand side. The hard part is where's the eight going? That, well, that's what I was trying to say. I mean, you, you, the yellow which he just moved was blocking, blocking the path for the double. So I think, I think he's been thinking a little bit ahead here. Um, yeah, it's it's just a matter of getting back on it, really. Yeah. Um, now this would be completely separate, I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, it is separate to the pockets events. I think it's just run at pockets. Um, and I think Arthur's happy to sort of produce it kind of thing. So yeah, I'm assuming it'll be done in the arena and you know, they might get their cameras out and whatever, but um, how how similar it is to the Pro Series and all the um, all the the camera work and all that, I'd say it'd be, it'd be quite different. I don't think there'd be anywhere near as much sort of work put into it. And, uh, that's, that's not Jamie's best shot. He's, I feel like he's really struggling after that black. He's kind of just very cloudy and he's not all there. Uh, Mozzie, unfortunately, when they're raced to 21s, you wouldn't be able to stack them all in on a Saturday night. Oh, that's a great shot from me. And, and I tell you what, this is a big black. It is. And, and as I said, he, he moved the yellow out of the way earlier on when he potted that red in the centre to, to move that pass so the black can be doubled. So he thought about this three shots ago. What a great what a shot. shot by Kingy. It's a bit tricky to land on this. This yellow and re this yellow is a little bit straight. He's probably going to have to play it with a little bit of pace because he's going to want to get as high up on it as he can. But I suppose you could you could be shallow on it because you can run it off two rails, possibly three, for the black in the same po in the same pocket as the last. I think if he can come up about a foot, he can play the yeah the, the yellow maybe with a bit of the left hand side and hold for the black bottom right. So um, if it's thick enough. If it's too thin, he may go between the black and the red and hold for the same hole. Yeah, I, reckon sure you can hold this. I reckon you can play this either with some <laughs> check and play for the middle, or maybe even check and play for the corner. I think you just run through this naturally and the black goes in the bottom right corner, I think. How's Benny Foster going to go with the eight? I reckon this is as good as in. That looks like it's a Oh, he's gone shallow. Dale, Dale back at the table. And Dale Kent, well I'm not going to give him the commentator's purse, uh, the <laughs> curse, sorry, but the way he's played all tournament, these are a certainty. Shane Fallon playing Steve Jamison, mate. Andrew um, Miles wants me to play someone at a <laughs> three o'clock slot. <laughs> Jay Windross. <laughs> Who wants to play Jay Windross? Don't all put your hands Jesus. up at once. Jeez, everyone's running over. <laughs> Everyone wants easy money. Great shot there from King out. And if this black disappears, it'll be 7 5 to Victoria. And WA just keep coming, don't they? Like, this is. That's not Dale's uh, best shot. I think he would have liked to have come sure up with a I feel like he tried to hit it thinner, yeah. That's not, I feel like he only hit that massively. And understandably, he's not the biggest bloke, but. <laughs> I think, I think Dale I think I think takes this yellow that's on the right of the black spot long to the top left corner. Probably dribbles, <laughs> dribbles through. No, he's going safe. He's going to make sure he doesn't catch the black and knock the black on. And he's missed that. He's played as a shot to nothing, which is good. <laughs> Kingy knocks in the black. Uh, has he picked the gap there at all? Is there something on? Nah, definitely not. I wonder if he hit this thin and put it top left. There is no way the white fits through there. It's a total. Trent's, Trent's giving us the nod to say it's a total. Ben, ben wants reassurance from Dale because if Dale says it's not a total, then it's potable. And I think he wants to, he wants Dale to say it's no be, total because then he'll go for it don't know if be and know it's on into the center. He might be able to bend it through and have a, have a go. Jake's chirping in the background. I'm pretty sure Trent, Trent. I'm pretty sure Trent has said it was a total. It's a big call because if it is a total, you can just come off the bottom rail and sit on it. That's that. And it me. keeps it central, which puts Dale under pressure. Yeah. But if it's not total, he needs to hit it, 
and then that can go anywhere. If it goes dead, it allows Dale to you know play safe or yep. have a bit of insurance. So it's a big call. Yep. I tried to get Trent's attention to find out what the ruling was. I think we'll find out from how hard Ben plays at this. Well, well he's put it on the bottom row. Doesn't really matter now because he's still in a row anyway. Dale, to me, Dale's only hardball is the one on the top, the top, <coughs> the yellow on the top rail, and then so just landing on the bottom. Big Seti Gonzalez, one of the country's best nine ball players. How is he on the green cloth? Seems like he attacks the ball very well. Obviously, he just struggles tactically, as you can imagine, not being his predominant game. But where these yellows are now, Jay, these are very, very makeable. He definitely went out hard against me when I played him and basically potted himself out of the frame. Just couldn't get himself on a, a clear shot in the black. It was a big cluster in the centre of the table and he just didn't open it. That's the first ball I seen Dale miss, that he was it's purposely weird, trying to it's putt. It's a weird one too. It's like the Victoria are lacking, they're lacking focus. Like, it, it seems very weird. And a big miss on the other side too. Where's this black going, Jay? Is there, is there a triple on? Is there a double? Does he cut it? Doesn't really go anywhere, does it? Uh, uh, the, the only shot I can see is the the black, uh, sorry, the yellow, which is dead center of the table, is possibly doubling it into that and maybe into the top right corner. I'm not sure it goes. It doesn't go into the top left corner as a double. And he's just decided to lay it oh, up. That's a good shot. That's a good, um, it's a very good um, like self-control shot. Yeah, he could have easily just thrown the arm and that killed it and then just handed the frame to Dale. But he knows Dale's just missed an easy ball. Keep him under the pump. Keep him having to work for it all. Yep, absolutely. Can you get another shot to nothing here? Trying to play the yellow near the black spot up to the top right corner and possibly getting top rail behind the, the yellow center of the table. Is, is that a possibility? Yeah, it looks like it's maybe going close to the left jaw. Yeah, he's actually in a bit of trouble here, Dale. He, he might even have to look to, to sort of play safe back to where the white is now. Just leave Benny a double. Don't mind that. Probably would have wanted to a bit softer to see if they could block the path of the black. Correct, yeah, that's probably what I would have been looking to do. Putting the yellow just above the black spot. Yeah. Paul Clack, one of Jake McCartney's fellow ultimate pool buddies. I think uh, that we believe the captain of the Victorian team this year. See if this goes in, this should make a lot of noise. It's got it! Yeah, it's got it. That's the first time I've seen they lose all weekend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's going to go ballistic here. And you can't see Just, uh, Seven six, and I tell you what, this is this is the, the funny thing about Team Paul J is, is Victoria are winning, but I feel like WA are. You know, they're up and about. Victoria, you're right. They're all sitting down. They're, they're not making much noise. They're nowhere near as up and about as they have been with, 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 like most of the tournament. I feel like they're trying to mimic the, the spirit that WA uh, are trying to emulate. They're trying to emulate what's going on on the other side of the table here. They're yeah, trying to get a little bit great. noisy when a ball gets in or a good shot is played. But I don't think it's being fed the same way. Wow. 
Well, if these four balls disappear, Jay, we've got 7 all with two to go before the break. So, so how are you playing this, Jay? Are you, are you taking this yellow that you're closest to the top rail and then using this yellow as bet to pot as the last I think, ball? I think you've got to use the left middle last. I mean, you can even, what you can do, depending on his angle, you can even play the yellow and the black both to the bottom right pocket. Mm -hmm. So if you, you, it allows you to land in a big area. Yep. If you land sort of anywhere from bolt line to sort of near the middle, you can play the yellow bottom right. He's forced it. it. Was going for the bottom left pocket. A huge break by Luke Foster on the on table one. Very good chance here for Luke. He's uh, got to play a couple of good shots down the rail, but it's, he's potted it. He's potted a few balls and he's got a spread, but the majority of them are within four inches of the rail, which is crazy. Just off centre, which is good. The hard part for Foster here is he's got to play rail to rail. He's probably going to have to play the left rail to get, to get on the right rail, mm -hmm. which does make it missable. He's gone into it. Oh, he's just at the gap. Don't know if I like going into it. These pockets are very, very, they're very big. The, the tables are very slow, but the pockets are quite large. I think if you're, not, if you're looking at all the better players, particularly like you know, like your Justins or your um, even Luke, like Luke's in the singles final, they're just landing on balls down rails. They're not worrying about extracting, mm -hmm. and they're happy to take the balls down the rails. No, it's a great shot. That's him. It's a great shot. Now he's probably going to play. Is it double on here? Or? Good effort I there from Sed. I, I believe that he's going to run this red down the bottom left corner. <laughs> Ian Hinton tuning in, dropping a couple of is messages he still in here. The room or has he disappeared? Big red in the black shirt. Disappeared. Got all the SA boys over there, or the Masters. Oh, he's just left it hovering. Well, he's playing Rob Bowen. You can see Bowen running this yellow down in the top corner and hiding behind the yellow on the left side. Rob Bowen, when it comes to attacking the balls, <coughs> I think it just maps the balls just as good as anyone else in the country. Um, I played him twice in Pockets Challenger and he destroyed me both times. Um, when he's flowing, he's actually really beautiful to watch. I feel like he cues the ball very uniquely. I think you're right, he should play the same the miss. pocket. Beautiful shot. Would have liked to have been a bit kinder on the leave of the yellow. You may see Luke jack up here and play a bit of a swerve. Tough swerve with it being so close to the rail. Maybe a two rail. You can look to push the yellow closest to the white up towards the, yellow, uh, the red over the pocket. The problem is you leave him one dead ball. Do you, do you, yeah, do you, do you run the yellow up and leave it dead on the side rail? Right? I'd almost think about going two rails here. You're trying to get out of this? I, I think so. I think even one rail straight across. You just, have to? I don't like two rails. I, I think one rail just above this, the right this. middle and just get the one off the side rail. What a wow, shot. Wee. What a shot. I have seen Luke him escape Foster. some crazy... Situation. Now this shot here is probably harder than getting out of a snooker realistically. One pocket, you can't hit it too hard. I've seen him get out some absolute crazy situations this week. Oh, he, he didn't, I don't think he left himself a shot on the black either. Yeah, he's hit it thick, if he pops it he probably lands on the black. He has played some sick recovery shots, getting out of getting out of <coughs> snookers. Clucky trying to get the Vix to eight first. Beautiful shot there from Paul Clark. Probably straight up and down now. I'd say to land the white top right and play the eight, uh, the last red into the left centre.
And I think that looks like it's going to hit the yellow. Oh, crikey. And he has landed on it. He's got it just. He's wrong side. So he needs to go off three and get back to sort of where the wide is now to play the eight bottom left. Makes the pot very missable. Uh, Clucky's played some very questionable last couple of balls, especially in a very key 24th frame against you guys earlier on today. One thing you notice about Clucky is when he plays these shots here, but the white has to move around. He actually moves a lot. There's a lot of body movement. Um, let's see if he, if he can stay still. You just pot the ball. I mean, the, the white naturally around. A lot of movement around. there. This is over hit. Oh, he's purposely gone to the bottom right. Hit it beautifully. I think he just penciled this one in. Uh, he's eats these up. Hasn't even looked at the angle. Oh dear. That is the pressure. And Luke oh, Foster out of the snooker. Oh, again. Oh my lord. Just got out of the snooker. I'll tell you what. Said Gonzalez with a, an absolute golden chance. And Lukey Foster landed almost on a straight double. Can play the right to the middle. He has got out of some crazy, crazy snookers so far this week. And he's, he's missed the black. Oh, I would have taken a double there. I think the double was more makeable. It was so hard. These middles are so tight. I I have to admit I'm I'm following Luke there. I'm I'm taking the cut on. I'm I'm not a doubler. I yeah. I'm not a doubler. I think the cuts are so hard. On these tables, middle pockets, they're incredibly hard. What a shot here from Seth Gonzalez. What a great shot. And Rob Bowen needs to hold his nerve here. Just he does have a big pocket top left, but that one down the top rail is very tricky. Are you finding these corners starting to tighten up? Uh, they, the they definitely are tightening up. <laughs> and that's because the, the tables get dirty, the balls get dirty. More people start to come in the room, which creates humidity, and that's why they tighten up. But I still think they're playing bigger than most nationals we've been to in the last, since, well, I've, since I've been to five, mm -hmm. um, since 2016, obviously, because we had the three year gap because of COVID. But these are the biggest pockets I've played on at nationals by far. A big so pocket here for, for Rob to to run this down the rail and really attack attack the white down the I table. I think he needs to cue this and get to the bottom rail here because he can lose the yellow. Absolutely. He doesn't want to roll this in because he might not have a shot. Exactly. He needs to really back himself. Attack He's, the he, he shouldn't miss the pot. No. Uh, you it's, get a nice it's picture a big, of the back of his head there. It's a, big, it's a big pocket as well, so he can really attack this and run through it. Doesn't need to put any spin on, just needs to top through it. And he's hit that beautifully. He might watch his body. Like, I think he is on the bottom one. We've got Sean Partridge and Nathan McMahon on the other table here. I think he's just left himself on it. Gary Robertson reckons these yellows are tap-ins. Uh, these, these at, at slow weight, these rails, they come away from the top and bottom rails. They, they are, they he needs are to cue this a little bit. I don't think he can be delicate with this. He needs to give this a tiny bit. And he's hit it thick. That was missing on any table. He hit that thick. He's almost hit that dead straight. Victoria rattled here. Well, that's just the pressure of, of, of WA coming out here. We said at the start of the match, Jay, where if you let WA get on that run and they all get up and about, they're such a hard team to play against. It doesn't matter how good your team is. Now, this looks easy on camera, but Fossey's taking a bit of time with this one. Any chance of grabbing Jakey from the bench? Or Jakey's in a... He's got the sun is on his head. He looks like he's about to fall asleep. I, on. I, don't <laughs> think he's, I don't think he's putting on a big shirt this year. I, I don't think you look at this angle. I, I think you just get down and hit the thinnest point of a black you can. I think you've got to look at no the up going and down off. and put on the yellow. I, I, I don't think it happens. There's no up and down. Oh, oh how's that not going in? Oh, my goodness. What is going on? This is the definition of pressure. Yeah, Gusta Giorgio's spot on, way too many mistakes. These guys, don't forget, these guys are some of the best players in the country. I, I, don't, I don't think that he's missed that because of pressure, because he's hit that fine spot to pop that, but he, it hasn't, hasn't travelled. It's yeah, literally gone is, an inch. This is nuts. <laughs> How has that not gone in? Goodness gracious me. 
Rob's got to make sure he doesn't leave himself in the jaw or run the right too in. far. Yeah, he's hit it beautifully. He, it doesn't matter where he lands on this. Don't even look at where you need to be, Rob. Just pop the bloody yellow. He's, he's having a look at his angle to get the black. I think you just got to get down and forget about the black and yeah, knock this in. This is, uh, because this is it's missable. Seven. And he's got it. Oh, he's got it. Great shot from Sean there. Now, I would be taking my whole minute here and waiting for Luke to walk up and shake my hand because I would not want to be taking this black on after seeing it, this set of pocket say no to the last ball, last shot. Wow, we. What, what, there were some turns and twists and all sorts uh, of that, though. We've got one table left for the mid match interval, guys. Sean Partridge looks like he's taking them on against Nathan McMahon here. And on yellows? This is a big frame in the context of the match here. 8 all, 9 7. Who's going to go in to the last round with some momentum? Dan the man, can we get a replay of that cut from Luke Foster? Just to see what happened with that black Dan over the centre pocket. Dan, Dan, has, Dan has blown the opportunity. Dan's let us down. That's a nice shot there from uh, Sean. Puts Nathan under a bit of pressure here, I think. Um, Nathan, I think, has been fairly solid. You know, he's, he's just won the doubles with Luke Anglesley. He's playing very well. Mm -hmm. These are makeable, but it doesn't look like he's on too much. I think, yeah, the snick's probably the right shot here. Just, just keep Sean under the pressure. Jason Smiley, you've got it wrong there, mate. Pressure's actually for tyres. All you've got to do is just ask Jake. Pressure's for diamonds. Pressure's for tyres. Pressure's for tyres, mate. I think Jake will tell you that. Oh, here we go. Dan, uh, Dan, I think, has found it. No, he's gone too far. He's gone too far. He needs to go back a little bit. Right, yeah. Uh, that doesn't bounce out. And a chance here for Nathan McMahon. One, yeah, two, Gary, three. you are right, mate. This is one of the most uh, interesting matches I've seen. A lot of mistakes, a lot of turning points. And I think Jaden's happy to be behind the monitor rather than being the one out there supporting at the moment. Mate, it's uh, it's, it's very stressful being out, especially as captain. It's actually, yeah, it's not pleasant. I think I'm more happy to get out there tomorrow. Hopefully, hopefully Dan's found the spot that we need. Hopefully, get this up. Dan, Dan's keeping us on edge here. He's making us wait until the break. I think for the for the five seconds it takes for this shot, I think I think we need to see it now. We can watch it. Off, leave the white we can watch right it ten times during the break. That's a, that's under hit. That's not a good shot there from Nathan. I think does this yellow go on the Have a look at this. How does this not go in? It, look how hard he hits look, this. Look, it just stops. Look how hard he hits this. He's almost cut it backwards. Oh! It just stops. How does that not go? Yeah, his, the look on his face oh. is priceless. He's, uh... It's sickening. I don't know if this yellow goes in the middle, Jay. I feel like... Uh, Put he that may... in the highlight reel, Dan. <laughs> I don't know if this goes in the middle. No, you don't reckon the nap might curl it in if yeah, you hit it the right maybe. way? Maybe. That, no, that looks like too a much of it. Not too much of it. It looked like he could have got it past that red a little bit tighter. Oh. <coughs> um, how did the how did the singles match go? Lindell versus Isabella. Lindell. Went, Lindell won Hill Hill. Yeah, we saw it there to Hill. I was keeping everyone up to date. Yeah, Lindell and uh, Bella, they actually played a really good match. Saw like, Bella got to the hill first, but just couldn't did. get over. Lindell, uh, I think the Lindell factor probably stepped in a little bit. The Lindell Bella factor. Bella got a bit nervous. That's a nice shot there from Nathan. That is a beautiful shot. That shot was so much more difficult than it looked. That's crazy. We're, we're going to get Dan to capture that uh, that black in the centre for the highlight reel. Because I'll I tell you what, there's been some highlights and there's been some lowlights so far in this match. There's going to be some sure which unforgettable moments. 
I, I, that's a highlight because that's that's surprising. I think you'd have to put Jamie's miss as a low light. Oh, absolutely. I think I think Foster probably did catch it a tad thin. Uh, I think I think Gary is right. He did catch it a bit thin. Uh, but even then, if you actually look, if you go back and watch the replay yourself, you, it just stops so much quicker than it should have. How, how, how does how does it? I just don't understand how it misses at that pace. It's not like he rolled it. It, it just stops very quickly, which is very odd. It's like it's hit something yeah. and, just, and just parked at the brakes. Anyway, I need to move on. I need to move on. I, I, You're quite traumatised about I need, about I need to get over this. It's, it, it's, it's surprised me so much. You're pretty traumatised about that black, aren't you, Andrew? I'm a, I'm, <laughs> look, I, I love my centre pockets. And that has absolutely blown my mind. I think I need to send Dan to the bar. <laughs> Nathan McMahon has left himself a nice shot here in the top right corner and he's probably going to just want to stun across a little bit so he can take one of these in the bottom left corner Captain Morgan, coconut sugar, please mate Captain Morgan, no coconut Thanks John Oh, he's, he's going to attack it, That's and he's got lucky. I feel like he was trying to catch the red yeah, there. I think he's trying to hit the red. If he hits the red, he's plumb, but catching the yellow, is, it's not a bad second prize. Look, considering where the white ball was on the top rail, I'm going to keep going with this passionate player because you've... you've, you've it's not that you triggered me, but you sparked my interest, but where the white ball was so close to the top rail, thick or thin... And the in off, I think you just got to play it. Well, he nearly went in. Without off. he did. He hit both doors. But I think you've got to play it without thinking about the in off. Yeah, I agree. I think if you go in off, you just stiff, especially from where it was, and you're hitting it so hard as well. I think the yeah, I think I think he did. I think it goes both ways. I think he was incredibly stiff for it not to go in, but he also did catch it thin. He could have hit it a bit thicker. Yep. And if he hits it thicker. Obviously, he doesn't go in off. <laughs> he's, he's gone throw, into this. That's chicken, no good. He's chicken wing that. He's thrown his arm as he played that. He might have knocked it on though. Is that? No, it doesn't go can't, anywhere. Can't see. It doesn't get in between the red and the yellow on the top left corner. I don't think so. It almost looks like there's a gap for it to go through. I don't think it, he, he may be able to play a good white here, but he needs to hit a rail. Not a bad shot, yeah, but he's killed the. Shot. He's just killed both reds. I don't like that shot at all. Obviously, keen to get the white ball safe. Wasn't really thinking about what's going to be happening. With he was better off keeping colliding. the reds into play and maybe stunning the white sort of behind the black on the side rail. Possibly even running it down to the bottom left corner. Even that, like you've got to keep the reds in play there because now Sean can, if he gets out of this or hits this, you're in trouble. I think he's playing for the one right of the red. I don't know about that. That's not bad. That's a good shot. That's no, good. I I, I'm pretty sure that. Well, I don't pretty. I'm not pretty sure. I guarantee you, he's getting yellow shot. The yellow does pass the red into the centre, and we can see straight from the camera angle that the white passes the red to knock the yellow in the Probably top left. Probably send the red around the houses here and get the white to the top left. Well, to hit that a bit harder, I think. It's not a bad shot. I was going to say, leave him left side of the table, force him to try and open up, but this this is on. Sean can cut this in the centre. Can cut it, yeah, that's tricky. The, the yellow, <coughs> I don't think, goes top left, though. The yellow, I'm I'm almost certain, thank you, Dan the Man, I'm, I'm almost certain that goes in the, the yellow goes top left corner. He will be on the other yellow to the same hole. I don't know if he's played well. He's got the cut and the extraction here, Joe. He's got the cut and the extraction. He can swing this around. I don't know. I've I feel like I feel like cutting. You've got to cut so much harder <laughs> for what we've seen so far. This is this is pretty this is pretty makeable. This actually looks more difficult on screen than I think it is in person. This is extremely makeable. And it makes it more makeable if you play left-hand side. Mm -hmm. It kind of swings the yep. white into the potting angle. Yep. And when you hit it as well, it thickens it. Correct. But if you play that shot, you're going to miss the yellow and the red. 
Oh, he's hit it. Oh, he's missed the pot. He's actually he's played, it, he played it playing ball. He didn't have any side, and that's where I think he went wrong. He needed to play side to come underneath it and not go directly into the yellow. Yep. Sean, so Sean, I think I think should get these. That's a nice. Oh, he's he's trying to hit the red full That's ball. Okay. It's okay. You can catch the rail first here and still knock this yellow in, and leave himself a pot. I think you'll probably play to the this bottom rail left first and play. Yeah, correct. And then pot to the the bottom left or to the bottom right, depending on where he leaves himself. Thank you, Dan. It's definitely a lot quieter in here since the uh, the ACT girls have finished their match. Big crowd congregating around this the around this match. To go quiet now. Every single shot that gets played, the room goes quiet. No, it's only up. perfect. I'm looking looking good. Just to just to stun this in, possibly a little bit of a screw back. It comes across the table about four inches to leave him a nice black in the top left corner and give. Victoria, a two frame buffer going into the last round at the mini break. I just felt the aircon come off. And with that black, Victoria lead 9 7. As we go, go to the break. Alright, so with that, both the teams are going for little huddles. Get we'll, each other fired we'll get up. The, uh, we'll get the score sheet updated. It hasn't been updated yet. But Victoria up 9 7. Thank you. The score sheet hasn't been updated, but the score has. So the score, score is correct. The score sheet, Sean obviously won that last frame. Mark Robertson with the break against Luke Foster. Luke Foster has been playing out of his skin, but getting, finding himself in so many situations where he's snookered and having to get out of them tells me that he's not completing his frames. <coughs> Mark, I'm, I'm unsure Mark will let him get away with so many, so many visits. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I don't disagree. Um, I think, I think he played well against Josh in the first frame from memory. But that second frame was quite, yeah, quite disappointing because he did have, even though that we had that black situation, he did have a few chances to finish that. Mm -hmm. I, I personally believe when he's cut the black in the middle, he should have taken the double in. Yep. I believe that the double is a lot more of a makeable shot than the cut in the middle. Yep. Yep, that's fair. And that's fine. Those mistakes are going to be made. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's team pool. It's the, it's the most pressure that we've ever witnessed Dan's in Australian pool history. And he's Dan's moving the equipment. Dan's changing the, the camera. He's put... Trying to work out what's happening here, Dan. Dan's trying to get as much of the view in as we can. Just to have a look at the atmosphere that we've got going on here. We've got tables around all the advertising signs all the way around. Yeah, I think I think Jason Smiley's right. What wouldn't surprise me, and I'm not gonna, I don't think I don't know which team it will be, but I think what you'll see now is you'll see that the, the players will start to sharpen up. Now, now typically, obviously, we all think, oh, the pressure's rising, the games will get scrappier, but I think from from history. They are starting to sharpen up. In Victoria, this is where their depth comes into play. This is where they'll start to sharpen up. And WA need to match that. They need to match that intensity and, and match that sharpness. Well, the Vicks have got probably their two most decorated players with Noonan, Ben Noonan and Mark Roberts at the table. Ben obviously at the table here against Nathan McMahon. These are... 
these are possibly, and I, I, I don't think it's, I'm wrong in saying that this is probably their two key and best players I've got in their squad at the moment. And they're up first to try and give them an 11-7 lead, a race to 13. Last shot there from Nathan. I don't know if I agree with Reds. I think he's gone Reds purely because of the black. Yeah, I mean, it's not the worst idea. He'll probably just play a nice little double kiss snooker here and sit him on the black. And, and this, is, this is Nathan's style. And I'll tell you why I don't agree with this. Because it allows Benny to get one of these or both of these yellows out. And then suddenly, if he gets these yellows out, Nathan's under pressure. Yep. That's a play right there from Robbo. He's probably going to get a ball. His drive broke. And Luke Foster, the skipper of the WA team. This is your moment, son, to stand up, knock off arguably the player of the carnival this tournament. And get your team back into this match. Does does Robbo win Player of the Carnival? It's interesting. That's another topic, isn't it? Where you've with got Justin's coming second with a really good percentage, and he's in the final. Correct. This is what I love. Singles. Now that they've changed all the selection criteria, with not just basing it off the stats, but basing it off the whole court of it with the plate and the singles. It's the plate as well. It's the plate as well, and okay. obviously Robbo did win the plate, which is huge. But Justin made the final of the plate and is in the final of the Australian singles. Okay, I'll, My I'll point of view sure. is if he wins the singles, he gets player of the carnival. And if he loses the singles to Foster, I think Robbo gets it. Well, I didn't realise the plate was part of it. I, the plate I, is part of it, yeah. Okay, that's interesting. So I was spewing because when, when I won the plate, the last plate, 2019, it wasn't part of it. <laughs> and they changed it all on me. Uh, they they just tried to all. stitch up the, the SA spewing. boys. So Foster's already gotten himself into some trouble. I don't think he's on anything. Dan's, Dan, sorry about the camera on table one. Dan's just fiddling around with it at the moment. Oh, that black comes out. That's not a bad shot. Great shot there from Luke Foster. What a great shot. Now, if that yellow goes top left, I back him to get these. It, now, as, as we said before, Luke getting himself into situations <laughs> of having to get out of snookers. This is, this is the key situation here where he's at the table, he's got the favoured balls. Is yeah. he going to get in the situation in, in of getting opinion, stuck into a snooker battle? And I'm not again? talking down Luke's, Luke's game at all because he's one of the country's best players. Mm -hmm. He's in the singles final for a reason. He got his pockets wild card for a reason. His white ball probably lets him down a little bit. It's not as clinical as I think it could be. He's, he's missed it. it didn't go clean. He tried to play it off the red. Smiley, it's um, I, I the, the the topic is debatable. That I I don't think anyone has had as a dominant a dominative uh, teams as what Robbo has had. Eleven masters. So Smiley, shooting I think, nearly eighty-five percent. Smiley, I think there. I think you're wrong. I don't think master ranks come into play. So what it is now is in the past years it's been a voting system where they've just voted. This year there's actually a set criteria now where <laughs> Rob Bowen. This year now there's a set criteria where it all basically gets put into an Excel spreadsheet and it gives you the answer. Yep. And I don't there's think a formula. Master breaks, They're running yeah, a formula. Correct. I don't. And that was created by Saab and Narka and Travis Crawley. I don't think master breaks come into play because it favours people that have more breaks. Yep. And that's that's why I believe that it isn't. But if it is, then yeah, you're correct. That, that 11 or 10 master breaks that he got is just favours him heavily. Yep. Well, you can't discount the fact that to break and run racks is so hard at this level um, <coughs> with the pressure that's you know required to to run racks. Yeah. You, you can't. You, obviously, as you said, you make a valid point that if you if you're gonna, you only get three rounds. There's players are going to get two breaks, and there's players only going to get one Absolutely. break. And, and you can favour those. You can favour certain people to get two breaks purposely in your team because obviously they could be a stronger breaker. They're more yeah, likely correct. to run racks, and you'll give those guys the better opportunity for your team. Correct. But what it does is it gives people a significant advantage over the other to get play out of the carnival. Great shot by Robbo, really good shot, probably a little bit too far. Um, we'll 
probably just screw into this yellow just to hold the white from traveling too far. Possibly give the black another option in case he lands on the right side of the table. So there's no question about this, Robbo's committing. I, I'm, and it's I'm not... going to come down to landing on that red top left. And he may get on it now. He yeah. may extract it. He may play the very topmost of the reds. Come off the bottom rail, give it a bit of a nudge, and no matter what, he's going to be on that red. Knowing how Bravo plays, I believe that's what he'll do because it is quite a large target. Even Great if you move then. the red or the yellow, yep. you're going to be on that red yep. in the right middle. Yep. I, I, I just... My, my problem is, is if he takes this now, <coughs> hits the yellow and lands behind it, it doesn't go in the top right corner, and I'm not sure that red passes into the centre. Yeah, I think he'll play to move the red. Uh, oh, he's played a drop on it. Oh, that is unreal. He's, he, he's, the angle, he's got to make sure he doesn't catch this yellow and, and knock it in. I think he's going to have to play down on this. Possibly push into the yellow thick. Well, I don't know what Benny's trying to do there, but it, in my opinion, he's basically just handed Nathan the frame. Nathan will just chip off this red and leave the white heart up on that red on the rail. Or he may even play the rail ball and just hit it full ball. Uh, Nathan's just chipping his balls out of here. Oh, no, Robbo, what, what a shot. What a shot. Promote, I actually like them all. Yeah, promotes the ball over the centre. chipping out, yep. Ben does allow Benny to do something here, though. Potential swerve, cut it under the red. I think, I think Robbo, Robbo runs this red in and puts the black in the same pocket. a shot on the black. I don't think I've seen Robbo miss, miss an <laughs> open ball tournament. Wow. What a turning point this could be if Foster clears these. What a turning point this will be. Ben's played a yellow which we're, we're still trying to understand. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. That is sickening. It, it is but I mean we Everyone can see the shot that he's Nathan, about to Nathan play. Will, Nathan will probably cut the yellow under the black, get across, and just play the red, cut the red across under the black. So I get across and play the red under the yellow, and then it's you know it's ABCs from there. Well, I, I think he plays safe here. I think Nathan's not going anywhere unless he has two shots. No, he's safe. Okay, fair enough. That's keeping the pressure on. Me personally, I'm having a go there. I, I was a very, very. You know, very make ball out. You know, you, you play that. You play the the red under the black. You get anywhere near the right side rail. You play the red. It's an unmissable shot. The yellow mm -hmm. goes to the back rail. Yep. And then the pressure's off. I think I think this is just Nathan's style. Right? Yeah. He's... I don't, don't disagree with that. Uh, that looks does, good. Does, does Ben does Ben try and play this black onto the yellow and try and take the pocket? Knowing and just Benny, he's, he's going to come up 18 rails and try and pot the yellow. Um, I'd agree with you, but... <laughs> it, is very, it is very tricky. I think that might be the only shot. Even if you get it in the gap, you get in the gap, you put him under some pressure. He's Into the, the red. red. That's okay. It's not... It's not the greatest. Nathan can take a ball inside now, his yellow what, and open it out. When these two balls, and I'm going to say when, not if, when these two balls disappear on Luke's table, the room will erupt. Mark. Mark. He's overhit it. He's overhit it. No, it's slowed up. Should still this make it, but did lose the white a little bit. This is in. The room will erupt. I'd hate to be the first high five. <laughs> I feel like you'd die. I, I'd hate to be any high five from Luke. Oh, he, you'd die. As the Jamie, man is a beast. As Jamie and I were saying earlier on, he's like a lumberjack. The man is an absolute beast. As we were saying in the, in the singles earlier on today, in the semi-finals, he's like a lumberjack. He just got big, solid arms. Nathan uses his two, and look at this. 
I reckon, hey, we could be seeing nine all here, mate. I reckon, I reckon he's playing safe here. We can be seeing nine all. And do you know what the big thing about nine all here is? I reckon Jake? he's covering the pocket here and yeah, playing he'll safe. Go for this. He'll go for these. I reckon he's playing safe here. James, you know what the big thing about nine all is? is <laughs> oh, Benny, oh, 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 oh. The big thing about nine all is Benny and Robbo have already played. Yep. And that's no disrespect to to anyone in the lower order of the Victorian team. All it is is, is an experience thing. You're talking two of the country's best and most decorated players. That experience out there on the table is priceless. Nathan, well, he's got two of the easiest balls in history to go nine all, and suddenly it's a best of seven. Oh, he's done the oh, fist bump. He's, he's popped off he's early. Done the fist bump. He's popped off early. He's let the gun go off in the uh, holster. <laughs> now I'm going to bring up some history here because I think that is in that is that is you know it's in the bad etiquette of the game. There has been a time when Nathan did fist bump before the black, and then missed the black over the pocket. So I'll let everyone else decide what they think about the, the early fist bump there. Look, we, we've seen it in many sports across the world. People celebrating before they score, I suppose you could say, or, or win. And sometimes it can go wrong. Correct. I mean, sometimes it can, sometimes it does. We've seen Jamie miss a black. Yeah, well, you'll never see Jamie fist pump before he pops a black. And it's 9 all, Jay. 9 all. 9 all. Match. Could we be going to a tie break? What a match we have here, folks. Said Gonzalez, what a break. What a break. Look at the yellow. And Benny Foster with a very good chance here against Victoria's Michael Skerry. Arguably Skerry topping off that big three with Noonan and Robbo in the Victorian team. And Victoria ended up beating WA after that. Matty Kerwood, you're right. I'm trying to remember what nationals that was because it was priceless. I think it was, was it 2017 or something, 2018 maybe. Okay. Look, everyone can have their own opinion about it, but sometimes it's good for the good for the viewing pleasure. It is. It, it can be seen. Excitement. It can be seen by the opposition players as a bit of disrespect. But you know, at the end of the day, you know, if you want to if you want to pop off in the holster before you've finished doing what you've got to do, mm. you've got to wear the brunt of what happens after that. 2016, yeah, it was Tassie. That was my first nationals. That's probably why I don't remember it as well. That's a good shot from Benny. Now, a big decision to make here. Do you soft screw and play for the red in the same hole, Jay, or do you give it a little nudge? I, I think... You're going to play you, top right. I think, you, I think you're doing... For me, personally, I'm only moving the white ball. Yeah, I agree. And I I'm think not moving any of the reds. The problem is, if you bring the red moving into play, it's a little bit out of your control. Yep. If you, if you move the white, that's all you. That's all your control. I'd be happy to screw into the side rail. Give myself two options. That's not a bad option. I like that. Beautiful shot. If he's not straight, may have to play the red long. May have to come back for the red top left. No, that's okay. He uh, uh, just looks a little bit off-center. He can, he can screw. Jaden, do you remember your first national singles match? Well, I'll give you a story, Gus. You actually weren't my first singles match. You were my second. Gus, Gus is having a bit of a wink there. Well, my first singles missing... match was against... Oh, I can't remember his name. It was a gentleman from from WA, um, and then I a played Gus, and I got destroyed. A gentleman, Gus, absolutely destroyed me. I think it was like five one, five nil in about ten. So minutes. It's a very very rare label in the pool it, world. It, it, a, a gentleman. A gentleman. Well, Gus destroyed <laughs> me in about eight minutes, and made me look like I was in the under fifteens again. As you said, he, he he wasn't in that line that we're talking about, but oh look at this shot! Look at this shot! What a great shot! That's a nine ball shot. Yeah. That is a pure nine ball shot. I think Jamie will, uh, he's playing Jamie. I think Jamie will respect that shot. He may be hating life at the moment, but <laughs> I think he'll respect that shot. Ben's played the shot you were talking about because he was off center and just had to screw high to get back into the bottom left corner. Well, this is for the lead here. He gets these two. 
Down the back in the centre. What a shot. That's a brilliant shot. Benny's one of the best cures in the country, and he will not miss this. W.A. are about to go 10 9 up, Jay. And that's Victoria's big three. And that's the big three gone. And now all of that pressure is going to come to Victoria's less experienced players. They've still got Jamie out there. Jamie is one of the most experienced players in Victoria. Mm -hmm. And all that pressure is now going to come out to Dale. Dale's coming out now. Who have we got after Dale? We've got Paul. You know, Clacky is also one of Australia's most experienced players. It's like an eight, nine time Australian captain. And then it goes to Rob, then it goes to Sean, right? These guys haven't played many nationals. It's all going to come on to them. How are they going to respond? Jamie played a really good shot out of this. He did. Um, I think the good thing for Victoria here is Dale's got the break, <laughs> and he's been really good off his break. His this break nationals. is one of the best breaks I've ever seen. His break is mental, especially for someone that's not a big fella. Yeah. His break is ridiculous. Guys, just a reminder on the live chat, look, we, we we behind the monitors don't mind if you guys are happy to throw in some four-letter words, but just remember that YouTube do scan them, and we have to keep in mind that there might be younger eyes watching the stream, so if you want to throw some four-letter words around, your comment might not pop up, so please, please be aware. drop a message in that's got some obscenity, it might not, it might not pop up. Jamie's, Jamie's missed that in the centre. Dan's, Dan's too busy uh, inhaling some oxygen. <laughs> Dan's in his own world over there. Gonzalez, big cut here. This is when I lose the frame, in my opinion. What a shot! Is it thick? Oh, look at the result. Oh. A bit of a result there. If that, if that yellow doesn't pass that red in the centre pocket on the left, he might have a bit of result. I know that the the central of the yellow of that whole clutter or that whole cluster on the table does go to the centre. But, but where are we? These two yellows are on the left side that are together are tough yellows. And there's, there's no real follow-up balls. Just trying to figure out what Jamie's plan is here. Uh, to me, I'm... Uh, not the yellow I'm, doesn't go past the red, and these two yellows here, they only go bottom left. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Like, I, I don't see how you get on these yellows. You've almost you have to play long. You've almost got to play this yellow off the side rail and try and then in between or something, or, or just left the loose. Dale's, Dale's missed the red in the bottom corner. He was chalking his cue and walking down, and it didn't go in. The SA boys are uh, having a little bit of a celebration, as you can see on the top of the stream. I don't know these two guys behind us. They are... Well... Reedy, I do. Um, whether that's Reedy, <laughs> whether that's Reedy or Vanessa, that ace at Canberra National was that Justin had was mental. Twelve master breaks or something was ridiculous, and he, that was, and he made the semis. I was a bit. I was. I'm gonna. I'm gonna throw. I was a bit filthy that year. Top the stats and didn't get played at the carnival. <laughs> but we don't talk about that. But yeah, you are right. These, this Nationals for Robbo has been sick. Said, said yeah. has landed perfect. He's got the angle, pop this red in the centre, and all he has to do is pick a gap. The only thing he has to do is pick a gap. Victoria are just falling apart at this stage. Dale's Someone in their team, and you see it all the time, someone in their team right now, whether it's Dale, whether it's Clucky who comes out next, Someone in their team needs to step up. They need to step up. They need to say, look, 
I'm gonna step up as an individual. Who's found the gap? I'm gonna I'm gonna be the one that turns this match around. Mm -hmm. Not the team, it's gonna be me. And until someone does that, WA is gonna keep winning frames. At the moment, it's looking like 11 9. 9. This could be 11 and 9. They're one away from a draw. Yep. One away from a guaranteed playoff after this black goes in. Well, they won't miss this black. And WA will go ballistic. Look yeah, at, look at, the, look, look at yeah. the body language of the teams. It's easy to say because they're winning, but this is do or die for Victoria. And they're all standing there with their arms crossed. You've got to get up and about. You've got to be trying to turn things around. Um, I, I said from the start that WA, this is the spirit I was talking about. That WA was my selection, well, the, my pick to win this. I'd, They've, they've got a juggernaut that's rolling at the moment. Nessie. Nessie, I, I have to admit, when I saw that message, I thought Reedy doesn't Reedy doesn't type that long. So I'm sure it was you. Look, we'll have to apologise about Greeny, the referee. Wherever there's a camera, he's standing in front of it. We cannot. He's like he's I mean, he he's like a very, moth to life. Room sense, does he? He just, he he just seems to... cannot get away from the camera. A lot of movement there from Dale. A lot of movement. Yeah, look, I, I, I thought the exact same thing, Smiley. I, I thought absolutely that, that's Nessie typing, and if there's any sort of information, it's Reedy reading, reading off. So the, I reckon uh, your old girl is like a uh, shorthand typist. Reedy, Reedy, uh, Reedy says it. She types it. Packing's played a great shot there on the red. Still got a tough red near where the black is. But played a brilliant shot to get into this frame and salvage a little bit of momentum for Victoria because it's all the WA at the moment. I think that's four on a trot for, for WA. Dale's losing it. I think it's just... I think it's just pressure. I wouldn't say he's losing it. You gotta remember, it's his first nationals. The pressure that he's feeling now at this table, he's never ever felt in his life on a pool table. He's gonna have to. Great shot. Great shot, Great shot from Paul Clark. Dale, Dale's gonna have to. Dale's gonna have to play some ta some sort of tactical frame here because. Without controlling this bottom right corner, it makes it difficult. And his, his first action was to take a soldier off the table. Yeah, I, I said earlier, I think, I think Dale does struggle tactically. And it's just an experience thing. Um, yeah, he just... He's going to find it really hard to work his way back into this frame. Clucky looking good. Clucky's taking these beautifully, and this is this is what I mean. Clucky the skipper. He needs to step up and say, look, shut up WA. We're still you know here to win this. I'm gonna turn things around. Mm -hmm. He's a bit straight, oh, he's a bit straight, he, can, he needs he to go run this through. is tricky, he needs to go through now, probably just, play the red top left. Yeah, he, I think the good thing about Cl uh, for Clucky here, he's got a spot to he hasn't even looked at it. The spot to land is just past the ball. I'd Just go to for the red top left here. Uh, uh, no, exactly. But uh, what I'm saying is he, he probably wants a white pup just past the ball. He may have to screw Just so this. he's got natural angle just to come through to the black. Stun this off too. Makes the pop missable. He is. Clacky just knows where he's going. He just messaged me. He's probably back in the bed. Yeah, he's in bed. Yeah.
Packy's thrown a chicken wing at that. He's thrown his shoulder out of it. He's, he's thrown the bus at that. Wow, we. And Alex Kingsbury, for someone that's so young and inexperienced, the young boy does play the right shots. And there's only one right shot here, in my opinion, Joe. Some very uncharacteristic errors here from the Victorian skipper. <coughs> Not sure what Alex tried to do there. Did he just promote the two balls? I missed that one. Yeah, he just got two balls. The the two yellows were on the side rail. The one that's furthest down on the on the centre um, was just not on in the centre. So he's promoted both of them. It was all, pretty much a shot to nothing. That was played a pretty clever shot there. Yeah, I don't look. I don't think Clucky has anything. Maybe a double down to the bottom left just to create some coverage. Oh. The back double bottom right, John. You know what? I'm, I'm taking the cut here. The cut's crazy. I'm taking, I think the back double crazy. bottom right may be the shot. Just I'm put taking, it near the hole. I'm taking the cut on here. So he gets this dog a ballistic. Uh, I don't know where that's going. It's not on. Alex Kingsbury, your moment has arrived, young man. Some of the players in Victoria have played some wild shots. Victoria, Victoria have put out their four most experienced players up first. And they haven't been able to come through with the goods in this third round. You gotta remember, guys. Victoria went nine seven up. Four on the jump. Paul Clack, another one of Victoria's experienced players, but probably the only <coughs> experienced one in this last set of four players. There's no doubt in the ability of those Victorians, but sometimes ability doesn't overplay or He's counteract right. experience. Yeah, I agree. These, these link nicely, Jay. Play the yellow to the top right, get over to the side rail, play the yellow to the bottom left. And then you can almost look to play, you can, you can get on the, the bottom line, right. yep. or you can play the yellow on the right middle and get down. Mm -hmm. He's got so many options here. It's just a matter of holding composure, staying calm, breathing, you know, all these basic things that we get taught when we're young. I think I think the way Kings Alex Kingsbury strikes the ball is so pure. Mm -hmm. he, he may not have the best cueing action you've seen, but he's the way he hits the ball is good so deliverer. pure. And the way the, the way the cue comes through the white yep. ball is so pure and it's so nice delivery. to watch. Yep. Got over four hundred people. That's awesome. Four hundred people uh, tuning into the stream. Thank you very much, guys. Again, the uh, the link is in the description to to donate any sort of donation whatsoever. Don't forget to donate, fellas. All the money goes into our pockets. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be any money. farther from the truth. No, don't yeah. forget, guys, all the money that's donated to the stream, it goes into goes into the Cue Ball TV. You know, Dan puts all, all the money back into the channel to give you guys the best sort of production that he can. You know, he spends absolutely, you know, thousands, tens of thousands of dollars on cameras, equipment, to make sure that you guys have the best viewing experience at home. You know, that's what the game's about. We're all about trying to promote, you know, obviously not just to the people in the venue, but to the people all around the country and the world. Um, Correct. You know, and that's where all that money and that generosity comes from. You know, yep. like we, it starts with you guys. We've got people, we've got people in Scotland watching, we've got people in Texas watching, who have, who have chimed in, so. Um, uh, angles as, didn't as want that in. As technology evolves, um, we, the, uh, the the equipment needs to evolve as well. So, so in, in one shot, Luke Anglesley tried to cover the bottom left and he's pot it. In one shot, Dale's probably going favourite in the frame. It's a big ball. It's a big ball. 
This is just a stun in. This is a nice, easy stun. Nice shot here from Angles. Kisses, kisses. Beautiful him. shot here from Angles. Nice shot. Buys himself. Probably another shot. This is a nice, nice, easy stun in the centre here from for Kenny. Maddie Barrett says, "Hey Jay." Maddie, thanks for tuning in, mate. I hope you and Hales and the family are well, mate. Um, you'd be you'd be enjoying watching the, uh, the WA Kingsbury. boys. He's um he's really impressed me with this out. It's so easy to butcher this, but he's staying calm. He's he's breathing. He doesn't look phased. He's just plucked them off one by one, hasn't he? Put them on the hill. What is that? And that's the draw, ladies and gentlemen. That is the draw. The room was quiet, and all I could hear was myself speaking it. Almost yeah. to a point where I felt, I, I felt, I felt awkward stuff. saying anything because the room was so quiet. Oh, well, the match isn't over yet. Still three frames to play. Dale looks the goods in this frame. We got Rob Bowen going up against. Can we just scroll down on that draw, please, Mr. Dan? Rob Manda. Bowen against Manda. And are you going to say get are, there. Are you going to say it? Rand Manda Ranganika, I believe. Is it? Ranganika. And we have got Sean Partridge and Clint Kapler if we get there. Which I think, from a neutral's point of view, we all want to get there. Oh, we'd, lo we'd love a tiebreaker. We've been teased by two matches already. That's Dale's, Dale's popped that in the Oh, it's in! Oh my lord, I'm doing beans. Now, Dale needs, Dale needs to jam this red in the right corner because you don't want Angles to pot it. Are you, you sitting this? He's just playing off the jaw? No, you just jam it. You're just jamming the white and the red. Playing off the right. jaw, I think. Yeah, I don't like that. No. I don't like that because I believe that... I think the right shot here is to either just to hit it thin and get up or just push through and give him ball now. That one's, that one's putted off the break there. I think you had to play off the jaw and sit on it yeah. because then you stopped him from deliberate fouling. Yeah. I, I feel like he just knocks this in <coughs> and say, Dale, your turn. And you've got two balls that don't pass day, to a pocket. WA's 12 9 up and Dale's under so much pressure, right? <laughs> yep. Give him two. Get the wide in bulk. He's got two dead balls. He's got to get him out in one shot. Put him under some pressure. Mm -hmm. Say, look, if you don't get this right, your team's out of the tournament. Yep. Yep, Gamo, uh, Jamo, it's yeah, seven seven man playoff race to four in a in a playoff. If he gets this, I think it's going to draw. I think you have to hit it thin. I don't think you can I don't think you can leave the white there. I think it was going up and down. I don't I don't agree with this shot at all. This is such a pointless shot. It's just a He's got unlucky. But it's such a pointless shot because you don't gain anything. What are you gaining? Dale just, just comes off the side this. rail, sits on the red, and you gain nothing. You're, yep. you're still got a red over the hole. You still got a dead yellow, and Dale yep. has one extra ball. Yep. You can't you can't win the frame unless you force Dale to do something. Yep. <coughs> yep. Can't agree more. Can't agree more. All of a sudden, I believe this frame again has swung into Dale's hands here. You gotta to touch this. You, you can't ever hit this. Just sit on it. Just rest on it. Nice yep, shot. Perfect. That's a good shot. Perfect shot. Yes. Again, I don't even know if I like that shot. I believe, you know what I think the shot here is? Is you jack up you, and you let you, you play the red and you can almost long double it to the bottom left. I'm, I'm just glancing off the side of it. Can do that. I'm glancing off the side of it when they run down the bottom. You're not going to leave him on a yellow. You can leave him on the I'd ball. I'd be trying to get this out though. It, I wouldn't I, be leaving it there. I reckon if you glance off the side of it, it, it goes to both pockets. You've got a starting ball in the, in the right corner. I think you're just opening it out. Because so you're hitting it softly and getting yeah, it wide Yeah, you're just up. gliding off the side. You're yeah, sitting the white passes past the centre pocket. you got to get it out, though. You can't leave it there. 
But that's fine. Right? Whether it gets out or not, it doesn't matter. You don't want to overheat Handa's it. Handa's played a great yellow. shot. You don't want to overheat it and Handa's leave him on the yellow. No, he's he hit it well. He's hit it very well. Handa's 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 played a great Handa's shot, Handa's but favorite. probably didn't want that to go in at the end, at the end of the day. Kira, yeah, yeah, just uh, careful with that uh, fall out of word, please. <laughs> oh, Mando, Mando. Oh, oh, my God. Have you seen anything like it? Dan's, Dan's like getting 100 the... 100 miles an hour Dan's getting the, the replay out for that because I the missed that. The replay's got to be out. I was, He's I hit was, it 100 miles an hour. It's gone in the middle at 79 <laughs> kilometers an hour and he's fat on his last ball to get on the eight in the same hole i i have was you seen too busy like it i was too busy watching the the live chat and i missed that yep. it, this is natural angle you've I never seen anything like I it need, we need dan to go back to the normal view dan get the view on that other table get me on that luke table here we go yep. He's this, fat, this is, this he's is fat on his last ball. This is for the win. This is him. This is in the hole. This is for the win. This is to put WA in the final this, against this the boy next to me. SA. Wowee. They were my pick. They were my pick. Now the big question is, Jay, who's your pick tomorrow? Uh, be I'll honest, you, I won't be you know, offended. I'll let you know tomorrow. You'll let me know tomorrow. I'll let you know tomorrow. Well, the, the SA boys are tucking into the beverages tonight. Nah, there's a long day tomorrow, mate. <laughs> a long day tomorrow. Look, you can't go past the guys who haven't lost all tournament. You've had a draw, obviously, but... Here we go. Look at this shot. This is, this is sickening. Let's, let's have a look at this. Look at the pace this goes in the middle. Oh, my word. Have you seen anything like it? And we've been watching guys miss pots on wider angles. We're not even like straighter angles than that in the centre. Well, well, Jay, uh, it was a pleasure, mate. Thank Always you very doing. much for joining us. I'll, I'll do a bit of cleaning up while you're, while you're heading off and speaking to your, your team about what's happening tomorrow. I appreciate you being part of the stream. No worries, mate. Very insightful. We wish you all the best tomorrow. Thank you, my friend. Thank you for having me. And uh, good night, everyone. And I'll uh, see if we can bring him the trophy tomorrow. Eh? <laughs> Jaden D'Amico, everyone. SA captain. Very lucky to be have him by my side. It's, uh, it's, 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 almost, it's almost sickening for it to finish that way. It, it was... Um, from from seven nine down, they've won six on the trot to take out the preliminary final in the men's teams event here, the 2022 Australian Eight Ball Championships. What what a finish! I, I, I'm 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 not a bit stunned. Not, not for the fact that WA winning and Victoria losing, but just stunned by some of the matches that were played, some of the shots that were played. It, it, it had everything, and almost fitting for a final rather than a rather than a preliminary final. Victoria not able to to defend their title, the last title in 2019. They definitely had chances. They will rue those chances. But WA, as I said at the start, of the, uh, the start of the stream, they were my selection, they were my pick. I felt like A, they had the momentum, B, they had the belief. 
Victoria are under pressure. They're, they're the team that had lost. They had lost the prelim, uh, the semi final. WA had nothing to lose. Nothing to lose but to come out here and just uh, have a hit, put the Vicks under pressure, and maybe, just maybe, get a win. The last, yeah, and, and look at the last, as we see the score sheet, that last round. The Victorians are going to look at and, and be sick. Their two main players, Mark Roberts and Ben Noonan, coming up first. You'd expect at least one of those frames. But the belief that the WA guys had, they didn't, they didn't crack under the pressure. They stuck to their plans. They stuck to their techniques and they executed fantastically. Well, guys, I'm going to hop off comms. I'm sure we're going to keep the cameras running for a little while just to watch a little bit of the celebrations from the WA team as they realise that they're into the final tomorrow. The team's open grand final is at 8pm tomorrow night. Um, a, it'll be four rounds, four rounds of eight. So 32 frames, a race, a race to 17. We start, we start the day off. We, we start the day off with the Australia Cup Grand Final at 10 a.m. followed by all the singles finals at 12:30. Then the the teams women's and masters at 3:30, followed by at 7 p.m. the Pride in Sports Six Red Challenge final, and then it all finishes off with the Open final at 8 p.m. Everyone who has been in the stream today, I thank you very much for joining in. Appreciate you guys in the chat, keeping us entertained, in your opinions, passing on your messages and good wishes. Anyone who's donated to the stream, thank you very much. It is time for me to grab a drink rest of the voice because no doubt tomorrow I want to be in this seat to experience hopefully hopefully I might be able to get Jamie back and experience a final with one of the best in the game and watch a really really entertaining day of finals as the 37th Australian 8 ball championships wraps up tomorrow so thank you again everyone and good night.